Yo, what is going on, guys? We are back with another episode of Mogcast. Episode number 37. We are here with Josh Bryant, a.k.a. Cousin Crypto, a.k.a. Cousin, a.k.a. fucking South African motherfucker. Bro, we got a lot of nicknames <laughs> yeah. in this bitch. I don't even know how to, like, introduce myself anymore. I'm like, yo, I'm you, Cousin, I'm you, Josh. How many times have you been on this? Two? This is number yeah. two. Second number time. Two. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Is this third time? No, no we, we were gonna do it, but fucking. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Nah, that was the late night. Pod. Yeah, the late night pod that got oh, yeah, that, yeah. that, that, got, that little... shit got deleted. Yeah, and... looks were fucked. Yeah, um, but regarding last podcast, you guys really liked the multi camera, so we're glad you, you guys did because we put a lot of effort into that, and so we're gonna continue to use it. Um, and if you guys have any suggestions to uh, make, you know, maybe put drop a comment, be like, yo, put something here or there, like maybe we'd be down for that. That light over there that's behind Josh, that's new. And then maybe we'll do like, it, hey, that looks clean, right? That looks clean. Because it's bro. making you, like, it has this glow from the back, and it makes yeah. you look good on looks that Looks like camera. a little lightsaber over this setup camera. Is nuts. Like, I have my fucking, my own one, and we just, like, makeshift it. It ain't even close. Well, that's how we it. used to be. Yeah. yeah. I mean, dude, when we first started the podcast, I think I was telling you, we only had, our camera had a 30-minute recording limit. Bro, I'm so I had to set an alarm for 29 and a half minutes, and I had to get up. I'd have to say, all right, pause, get up, restart, continue the podcast. We had to do that like four times. Bro, I'm yeah. currently running that in my setup. Yeah. <laughs> I think that same fucking little camera that I got for vlog, I use that shit for everything. I've got to start investing some more bread in the shit. Yeah, yeah, no, you should. All right, real quick, let's go into our sponsors of the podcast. Um, first off, Merrick Health. Um, a couple of you guys have been using code MOG and we yes. forgot to plug it in the last one. So code MOG saves you what? It's 10%, right? Uh, yeah, I think 10%, um, on blood work. So if you want to get your bloods done, I'm getting some more done before I compete just to see, cause I, like a lot of people, they do their blood work when they're at their healthiest, which to me, like it's when you're that's, yeah, that's yeah. important, but like, it doesn't really make a difference. Cause if you're <laughs> if you like blast, you know, 50 weeks of the year and you just take a couple weeks off to like get healthy, it's not really giving you an accurate view of like what your bloods look like for the rest of the year. So I'm going to get it at like my most unhealthy. So like three weeks out from my show. I just gave blood uh, or not gave, but I got bloods done for Accutane. Um, and they said like my, a my ALT and my a AST, the liver enzymes were both mm -hmm. in, in range. So that's good. I was good to go on the Accutane, started up Accutane again. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to get your bloods done, I recommend you do that. Merrick Health, 10% off code MOG. Um, and also, it supports us. It does. And it's good even if you're natural. It's always good to have, like, 99% of people have no fucking idea what's going on inside their body. Like, what their blood work even looks like. So, it's just a good idea to have regardless whether you're natural or enhanced. It's also cool to see what, like, your test is at. Because you could be... Your buddy could have like super high natural tests and you could have really shitty low test. Yeah. So it's cool to like compare. Yeah, but I just ran bloods too. But I got, I recommend using whatever you fuck is about. <laughs> my, my place, I called them. I thought it was like an at home, like lab appointment. Yeah. Chick texts me. She's like, I can't find your apartment. I'm in the parking garage. I was like, all right, sweet. I'll Wait, come. they come to your house? So, but I thought they were going to come into my apartment and shit, take it all good. She texts me. She's like, hey, I'm in the parking garage. Like, I can't find your apartment. You mind coming down? I was like, all right, sweet. Went down. I was like, oh, we got to go back up this way. She's like, oh, no, we can just do it here. I was like, oh, my God. In the fucking parking lot? She's like, yeah. Just what, in your car? In, in her car? Blood? On the back of a fucking Nissan Altima, bro. Whipped out my <laughs> nah, arm. that's crazy. That that's Boom, crazy. Bloods. I was like, that's hectic. Nah, we'll get you, we'll get you on Merrick, bro. We'll get hectic, you on Merrick. Hectic. Yeah. But, um, okay, that's that was the sponsor of this podcast. Yes, so and, you know, Anabar. You guys are here, blah, blah, blah. Um, you guys know all this shit already. Yeah. Um, and Code Cousin, too. Yeah, Code, code Cousin for Anabar, too, if you want to support him. that shit. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. But yeah, so let's get into this podcast. I do want to talk about the the late night podcast real quick because that that reminded me that shit was fun. It was fun. It was fun, but we were just. I mean, Marco's here too. He's sitting in the corner over there, and uh, it was all four of us, and it was just. That's why you're not on right now, <laughs> because how you acted, <laughs> and so, me too. But uh, I run this joke. podcast, so yeah, I get to be on again. But that was fun, and I know a lot of you guys wanted to watch that, but we lost the. Well, we didn't lose it. We deleted it. It's gone. Yeah, it's gone. We forever. might have Sorry. to run it back eventually. A little more professional. And little dude, more professional, you told us, yeah. bro, you told us on that podcast about like Solana and all that bullshit. Yeah. And like you, I wonder if anyone listened to that pod and got like mad fucking dude, I had, that. Dude, I had so many people. I didn't expect the exposure that I got from that shit. I had mad peeps to this day. I'm like, yo, I found you on Modcast. Like I bought Solana. Like 
oh, thank you so much, Top Shelf. Like, that's, that's crazy. crazy. Yeah. Well, because you. Why did we fucking do it? That's my question. Because we're fucking. We, we were pussies. That's why. Yeah. We were pussies. I know. And. And you made a good case for it too. You were like, this could be like the new Ethereum is from the way that I remember you kind of phrased yeah. it. And I don't know why I didn't. You, I think you, you mentioned it on the podcast when it was like $30 or something. Yeah, bro. I think it, it was, was cheap. Like, yeah, sub 30, some shit. And it went up to like 250 at its highest. Yeah. And now it's like above 100. Yeah. Nah, so that bitch ran. Either way, yeah. you know, if you had copped in, even with the pullback and shit with the market taking a shit, yeah. you would have still been paid. Yeah. How much money are you making? Like, how much money have you made on Solana alone? Bro, so Solana, I honestly, I'll never hit a trade like that ever again. I went, I started swooping that shit so low and I ended up taking profit at like 200, which was pretty fucking close to the top. To like the top, yeah. Bit, Wait, what does that mean, taking profit? Like, you like said, I started selling. Okay, like, okay. I was like, I was like, you know, 200, that's fucking, i rid this bitch from under a dollar. So it's like, yeah. I got to fucking eventually take some profit. So I ended up pulling profit at like 200. Um, dude, to be completely Wait, honest. so you got in at like what, 40 cents, right? I started, I don't know the exact number, but uh, that's when I started first buying was that shit. But again, bro, I was like fucking, I was a kid. I didn't have- It's like 400 X. I didn't have that fucking payout. Like my parents weren't like, yo, he has 50 sticks. Go yeah. have fun with it. Yeah. So it's like at the time it was play, play money. But like you say, bro, 400 X. True. Even Cause play, even, play if play the, even if you only put a hundred bucks in, what's that? 40, 40 K or 4 K? I have no idea. No, uh, wait, definitely 400 4K. is 40K. Yeah, 40K. 40K. That would be 40K, even if you only put 100 bucks fucking in. nuts, bro. That's what I try and tell people with this shit. Is <laughs> I'm, I'm just like, thinking about how much fucking money. So how much money did you make? So that's what I was going to say. <laughs> I honestly could not give you an exact fucking number because so what I do to like try and avoid getting hacked and shit. Yeah. I've got my shit split up. I'm now fucking 10 plus wallets. You know, uh -huh. like you just heard of uh, Dom, the dude from uh, Raw and Revived. He got his fucking wallet hacked and shit. Oh, really? Yeah, bro. Got like a, like 600K worth of fucking yeah, board age stolen from him. No, he him. said it was a million. He said a million, over a million in assets got yeah. stolen from him. Wow. And I think it was because uh, it was like Apple or something. Yeah. So to be honest, like, so I, I slid up and I was like, you know, I'm, I'm well connected in the space. I can help you out type shit. And I got on a fucking phone call with him, but he pretty much, unfortunately, like, I know it's like it's it's not his fault, but it is at the end of the day. Like it was like a random fucking number Wait, that Josh, called. Josh, can him. you move that? This bottle. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if that was. That probably was. Yeah. Wait, um, go on. But um, so you got a random fucking phone call. It said Apple ID, but you know who, who the fuck? Why would Apple call you top shit? And so that the number called them and was like, "Yo, your shit's compromised. Um, you know, give us the code, whatever. Like we'll, we're gonna send you a code. Give it to us." And they gave him, he gave them the code and then they locked him out of his phone and fucking ran his shit, gone. So that's why I split my shit up between 10, 12 wallets, whatever it is that I have, just so that, you know, if one gets compromised, we're yeah. good. And it's like, I recommend anyone that's playing with big boy money to do that shit. So, bro, I've like fucking split between those wallets. I just have all my fucking, all my bread. So I, I made enough, dog. I made... I made enough. Like, and that was that's how much enough. Yeah, I made I made enough. <laughs> nah, bro, like, give me a number, man. Like, I'm at, I'm like, <laughs> dude. So I mean, I ended up pulling like straight liquid cash. So I'm still holding a bunch. Yeah, but I'd ended up pulling straight liquid cash, like just south of a mill, which was like for me, like yeah. Well, bro, that's fucking insane. Yeah. And like that was like one trade, like, and I was, dude. It's just like it gave me the ability to fuck off because yeah. it's like. At the end of the day, you can cancel me. You can come after me, whatever. Unless you take that fucking market away from me, <laughs> I'm going to be out you, yeah. bro. I'm yeah. in them cheeks running it. So it's like, <laughs> I did that shit. And then I obviously took the money, like the profit that I'd made, being a degenerate. You know, I probably should have fucking banked most of it. But bro, I fucking reinvested that shit. So we had fucking uh, GMT, which is, uh, we can get in that a few fools want. But like, it's this revolutionary, in my opinion, um, this app, bro, that you get paid the fucking walk. And run and oh shit. yeah, bro, you were talking about that. So it's like like sweat, you know, sweat coin from back in the day, but it was fucking you where you get paid the walk, but it was bullshit. This takes NFTs, gives them actual utility and shit, and essentially, bro, there's fuckers I know making like a couple grand a week just from walking, <coughs> just from and so like someone for example that goes to school, you know, at college, you got to mm -hmm. walk between classes and shit. Just fucking hit all you do, pull up the app, hit start, done. So how do they? How do they? Like, what's their incentive to pay you for walking? So you got to purchase the NFT, the shoe NFT, to fucking get your app fucking activated in a, sen uh, in a sense. And they'll get, you know, money off of that mm. shit. Um, and then you've also got to fucking, you'll get paid, but you got to repair your shoe, all that shit. So you put more money back in. Um, and these fucks are pretty much, you know, with obesity being such a big problem. In my opinion, like, I think they've, 
they've nailed it. They've got NFTs with an actual utility because, you know, like all these bullshit profile photos and shit, it's just a photo. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's it's decentralized, all that. It's on the blockchain, but it's just a photo. Right. This shit, you know, you buy the shoe, you now have access to this app where you can fucking earn guap. Like there was some people that got an early, depending on the amount of shoes that you bought, you can do more shit. Some of these fucks are literally making like five grand a week just from fucking walking. <laughs> it's absolutely out of pocket. You get early to anything, it's nuts. And so like, I think it's, it's, it's first of its kind, this, you know, you've heard of a uh, play to earn games. It's yeah, like in yeah, crypto, yeah. yeah, where you know you get paid to play the shit. Um, however, those games suck cock straight up. They are so anyone that actually games cannot do that shit. Like it's it's so anal and it's just very fucking confusing. It's not fun. This yeah. shit's not fun, but you pull anyone can use it. You pull up the app, you hit start, and it starts tracking you. That's it. So for me, yeah. that's where the real utility, like why I think it's gonna be fucking next up. Cause like I tried, bro, I tried those games. You know, I was a crypto influencer and shit. So I was like, fuck it, we'll stream it, we'll play some. I didn't even fucking get to step one. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. And I'm in that shit. So yeah. like no way a normal person can work that out. Mm -hmm. This shit, you could be 80 years old, bro, one foot in the grave. You just pull that shit out, hit start, boom, you're good to go. So like I took like a lot of that bread, reinvested in there. That shit, bro, came out on the exchange a month ago, two months ago now. Um, listed came out at like 10, 20 cents. That shit just ripped to like three, three bucks 70, which I don't know. GMT? GMT. GMT. So yeah, I'd be very fucking cautious purchasing something, you know, that's up that big. Because motherfuckers are up. They pay. Yeah, yeah. Um, especially if they got an early. But the app, you don't have to, you know, buy the actual coin to use the app. Right. Like you can still, earning the money from walking and shit is a completely, di it's com different to, you know, being an investor in the actual coin. So, so you so get, you got, when you walk, you get paid in GMT coin? You get paid in GST, which is their governance token. And then you can convert that to Sol, whatever you want. Uh, like that but does that token gain value over time as the, oh, so that people that got in early that were walking, if they were making 500 bucks a week before and then at 10 X, all then that money. And they didn't money's. sell it and like they didn't convert it. Cause you know, like let's say at the end of the week, you've earned a grand in GST yeah. and you convert it, you know, then you got your grand. But right. if they didn't, like that shit was, I believe at like three bucks, it went to like six, so like doubled. Right. So if you right. were earning five grand a fucking week, you didn't sell, that turned into 10 grand. So it's like, and it's still very new and shit. Um, but I think it could honestly pioneer like a bunch of other apps launched and shit on different networks. This shit was on the Solana fucking Solana network too. So like, you know, stiffy for Solana. I was like, bet, no brainer. Let's run that shit. Mm. And, but dude, there's, whether it's Soul, GMT, Axie Infinity, this shit is ripping left and right. And like you said, bro, 400 bucks in Soul, that's 40 grand. So like I try and tell people, you think you've missed it, whatever you haven't. The shit has been ripping like this since 2013 you know since this shit came out bitcoin went crazy then the old coins and the meme coins there's always going to be an mm -hmm. opportunity so at least mm -hmm. just situate yourself Your in the space shit. but you're yeah. always on you're always on like the cutting edge of that opportunity so how do you like can you take us through a little bit how you differentiate and have like this intuition for what coins don't have a good development team and what coins are just like kind of shit versus mm -hmm. which ones have long-term potential yep so i've kind of i'm not at the point i've been in this shit since like you know 2016 was when i first got involved i worked with uh, i interned with charlie shrem who started the very first exchange ever like he was like you know he's a pioneer he's like a god in the space mm -hmm. and so i've pretty much like over the time i've that i've been in this shit i've done i've put my work in i now have like such a fucking such a big network in the space these fucks will hit me up and they'll be like yo check out this mm. so i already now like from them i have a very, like a narrow list like i'm not like everyone's out here going research you know you got to research all these coins it takes a lot of fucking work these fools will only send me the top tier coins and then from there i can fucking look further into it but right. to answer your question number one thing for me is what problem is it solving because if it's not solving a problem there's no need for it like solana was solving eats fees you know and the mm -hmm. fucking it, it completely high speed all that shit took out the fees all that bullshit so i was like boom there's a solution um the next thing are like you saying team the easiest thing for me is to invest in a team that's already been in the space and has a good reputation because it's like they're not gonna fuck up you know they're not gonna rug pull it when you invest in teams that are anonymous you're fucking playing with fire you're playing with fire you're opening yeah. yourself up i mean all these nft projects and shit that rugged and went to zero all the teams were anonymous 
Because, you know, no one's going to fucking... Yeah, no one wants to get fucked over. Like, you don't want to yeah. be the, the face of yeah. something that... Yeah, yeah. but like me, like, I'm I'm totally cool. Like, a lot of the dudes in crypto, you know, it's just NFT profiles and shit. They stay low-key because they don't want to fucking... They don't want people to know who they are because they're scumming. They're doing scumbag-ass mm-hmm. shit. I'm fucking... I'm not. I'm cool with it. I'm, I'm happy to throw my face out there. You know what I mean? So, like, there's people that'll take all sorts of fucking... I mean, the money in the space offered for promos and shit is disgusting. Mm. And people will fucking take it, bro. And then boom, there goes the end of their career because it's anonymous team. They've gone and got a celebrity to fucking talk about it. It's ruined the celebrity's reputation and they've right. fucked off for is a this, couple more. Is this kind of like what happened with like that Logan Paul shit? Yeah. So, I mean, so Logan Paul... Like what? Because I saw you like... Did you do a video with him or something? Bro, I got absolutely fucked by that shit, bro. One of his boys hit me up and this is when like meme coins were going nuts. Yeah. And he's this like, like last year, right? Yeah, like last year. And he's like, yo, this is when I was in LA. And he's like, pull up to Logan's. Like, let's talk this and that. You're going to say no to going to Logan Paul's crib? Like, I was like, bet that up. <laughs> Pulled up, um, sat there, like spoke some shit with him. And he took a photo, dog, <clears throat> of me sitting like at like the impulsive set. And he fucking, I guess, sent it in the Discord. Next thing I know, that project, I didn't fucking promote it or anything. I was going to do, so they were doing like cartoon episodes. And he was like, you know, it's going to be Jack Harlow, fucking Paris Hilton. And then, like, we want you to be the one after that. You know, I was like, bet the fuck up. You know, I'll run that shit. It's not, I, I don't have to promote it, whatever. But Wait, you can so, use me as a cartoon. So cartoon, so cartoon episode is like, you, you're you doing this, but it's just like cartoon, like yeah, anima- so they, like they animated? Yeah, so their whole thing, yeah, it was just like an animated cartoon. Podcast. Like, like I saw, no, no, no. So I, that was, I was just sitting there in the podcast thing. But this was like, so we went there, recorded the bullshit on the, like the podcast, like the voiceovers. Right. Um, and then it's like a South Park style thing. Uh, and are you just like reading a script? Yeah, I just fucking, I just ran it. I, very short, everything. But this dude took a photo of me while I was doing that. Okay, who was the dude? Just some random guy? One of his boys. Okay. Um, and he put that shit in the Discord. I then from the fucking Discord, motherfucker went to Twitter, whatever. Next thing I knew, you ever heard of uh, iDubs? Yeah. yeah. No, because I heard, because you also were beefing with the iDubs, right? Bro, next thing I know, iDubs is fucking making a YouTube Which, by video. By the way, iDubs is fucking huge. For those of you who don't know, yeah. iDubs is like is like Jake, or fucking OG. Logan Paul. Like, I shat OG myself. is fuck. Yeah, iDubs is fucking huge. Bro, I fucking shat myself. So next thing I know, iDubs is making a video about Dink Doink was the name of this fucking, this crypto project. And Logan fucking fully promoted that shit. He put on his Twitter, he's like, oh, on a TikTok. He's like, oh, I'm fucking dink doink, like to the moon. I'm putting all my money in dink doink top shit. This motherfucker iDubs goes and does like the whole video and shit. And then right at the end, throws up my photo, the photo that this dude took. And he's like, yeah, so I'm pretty sure like this is this is the dude behind it all. Like they got Logan and shit just as a face, but this is the dude behind it And all. you weren't. And you were just the guy doing the cartoon. <laughs> I didn't, the, didn't even end up. The cartoon never got released, nothing. I was just like, bro. So I texted or I DM'd him. I that's was pretty. Like, oh. That's pretty irresponsible for someone with that big of a platform who knows exactly what the fuck is going to happen if he does that. Yeah, he knows I'm that you're going to sure get the guy. You got to get like death threats and shit because you got shit. like millions of people watching it, and this guy doesn't even know. He's just like, ah, this looks like the face of it. I don't fucking know, bro. He, he looks and he's like, look at this broish gym bro looking dude. Like this is the face of it. This is the mastermind behind it all. And I'm like, dog. <laughs> That's actually incredible. I said, DM'd him. I was like, dude, I'm going to sue you if you don't take that shit yeah. down because that's out of pocket. And again, like I'm one of the few fools in the space that's like transparent and like try and keep my yeah. shit, you know, open and as honest with my followers as possible. So I was like, bro, that is a motherfucking low blow. Yeah. Ended up fucking blowing over. But dude, they are. Did he delete the video? He, he ended up cutting me out of it. Like oh, a okay. small part. Okay, and I was okay, like, okay. thank fuck. Because I don't even think he's going to see my DM because that fuck's mm. got so many, you know. So Did many he even models. respond? No. But he just cut it out. Then just cut it out. And he's just like, you know, that's that. But, dude, they all... Those did he never even came out and said, yo, I, me- I made a mistake. This is not the mastermind. So did you get shit Damn. on? Not a whole bunch because, again, my fuckers know me. They were like, I posted a video and I was like, I posted a TikTok, Instagram. Right. And I was like, this is not me. I didn't fucking do this. And then, thankfully, with the reputation I've built, a lot of them were like, bet, we trust you. We got your back. Um, and I blew over pretty quick. But I was like, I was... Feats in for a minute. I was like, "This is not. This is not cool." This is not Imagine cool. you didn't have that platform, you would have just gotten ripped to shreds. Well, it would have been game over. And it's yeah. like, at the end of the day, you're playing with motherfuckers' careers and shit. And like, I was yeah. like, dude, that's so out of pocket. So yeah. I went from fucking pulling up to Logan's pool, lifting all that shit, you know, at the crib, chilling, to fucking like meeting all them and shit. No, nah, I didn't. They were fucking out, bro. 
So it literally was this dude that was just like one of his boys that lived there or something. It was, ah, dude, it was, oh. it was sus from the get go. So like no one was even home. He was like, yeah, come in the studio, reread the script, blah, blah, blah. I was like, dog, oh. that is fucking nuts. And it just, it, it went south so quickly. But I mean, Floyd Mayweather right now is the biggest name I can think of the dome that is ripping NFT rug pulls left and right. So if you're listening to this and you follow Floyd Mayweather, don't fucking touch any of that. <laughs> that fool talks about well, what him. about well, Bradley Martin though, right? Bro, Brad Martin, I can't believe that shit didn't get more exposure. Yeah, <laughs> okay, let's get into this because I remember seeing something. I don't know anything about this. I'm I, curious. Yeah. I remember seeing something and like there was a little DM. There's a little DM action going on or something. And um, no one really talked about it because it's like super fucking scummy of Brad. And we already know like, well, I'm going to just let you go. Because, yeah. But yeah, just... Dude, so pretty much what happened, there was this NFT project called uh, Jacked Apes, I believe it was. Jacked Apes, some shit or whatever. And it was pretty much going to be like gym bro NFTs, right? Mm -hmm. They got a bunch of big influences on it. Brad Martin was one of the biggest. Um, and so the beauty with the blockchain is it's a public ledger. You can see everything. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'll, I'll show you fuckers the, the, you know, the fucking photo or whatever. But you can see this fuck getting paid 92 ETH. Yeah, send send that to me later, or send yeah. that to me, and then I'm gonna have it, I'm gonna put it up on the screen right now. Yeah, I'm, it's on the screen right now. So Wait, you you ninety two. What's it at right now? Thirty one hundred. At the time, so about three hundred k. Yeah, bro. At the time, it was about a quarter mil. Um, and so he got paid a disgusting amount of bread to talk about this project, and immediately that should be a massive red. That that's a massive red flag of these. So they gave him ninety two ETH. Yeah, they just to just to promote this project. Just to promote, and that's what I'm, that's how much money is in this space. But yeah, that is a massive red flag because if you are fucking having to pay yeah. influences that of amount of bread, you're gonna fucking rug it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so my biggest issue with this shit is I know. Listen, Wait, just real real quick, because I assume most people watching don't know what do you mean when you say rug it. So a rug it or a rug pull is literally like, think about, you know, pulling the rug. Like you got I'll shit under someone. Boom, it's just gone. I don't mm -hmm. know where it's children. All gone. So it's that there. happens when the creators, they have the majority of the coins and then everyone else runs up the price and then the creators very quickly sell off all their coins. Well, they just pull it. Yeah, they pull all the liquidity. So like what happens with the NFTs, you know, you, you have your fucking launch, you have 10,000 NFTs, whatever it is, you make two mil and then like these fucks pretty much just dipped. Gone. So you just sell it. Pretty much. They, like no, they, well, they, they, have, like they have the bread and they just take it. Boom. So then now so it's you, literally stealing. You, yeah. It, mm. It's literally fucking, it's literally stealing. And so it's going to be interesting to see what happens with, uh, you know, this is kind of like the wild west. Like this is like the first year. It is. That that's, that's why happened. I'm curious. Like if in the future there will be, I mean, there's got to eventually gotta be. be some sort of regulation on this stuff. Unfortunately though, bro, like there's very few fucking people that actually get charged with this shit. Like well, yeah, but I think it's because like a lot of people in government and like legislation, they're all like 70 years old. So when you bring up to them, yo, here's a real problem with NFTs and people stealing money. They're mm -hmm. like, what is a crypto? What is an NFT? Like they have no idea. That's my problem. So it's like, we're not going to legislate on this. We have, like, we don't even fucking know what it is. Yeah. They're like, we've got real issues or something. Like yeah, that. yeah. And exactly. that's, that's my, my thing too. You can't have 70 year old motherfuckers talking about making decisions and regulations on something they have no clue about. Yeah, you know what I mean, it's not. Yeah. But uh, going back on Brad, so because they're they're just gonna say ban the whole fucking thing. They got no idea what it is. They don't understand yeah. that you know it could eliminate human error, all the fucking fraud and shit in the traditional finance system. Like they don't see that. Yeah, they but don't you, know what the fuck's going on? But you also need to have some balance between regulation and also allowing it to stay free because that's kind of the whole point. Yep. That's like the central thesis I of crypto. Agree. A lot of people are like, you know, fuck regulation. Like it's crypto. We want to be decentralized. But yeah. then you have shit like this going down. So in my yeah. opinion, you do need regulation. But, but uh, just a little bit. Yeah, just just a little bit, but not, you know, not too much. But enough to fucking stop kind of bullshit like this. Mm -hmm. um, and finally, people are waking up to it. You know, now that it's happened several times with big influences, they're not really fucking buying that shit anymore. Mm -hmm. But long story short, yeah, Brad got paid an absurd amount of bread to promote this project. He obviously didn't say, hey, I'm getting paid 250K to talk about this shit, um, which, listen, it's 2022. Advertising is done through influencers. If he had said, disclaimer, I'm getting paid. This <laughs> yeah. is an ad. Yeah. Not a problem with me. If it goes, to, you know, I mean, yeah, when it rugs, it's a bit of an issue. So that that's the thing. You got to fucking... Not an issue with promoting these projects as long as you are open, honest, and you don't promote dog shit. And that's mm -hmm. the thing. Brad, what the fuck does Brad know about NFTs? In the gym, he'll milk me all day long. He knows all that shit. 
Yeah. But he doesn't know anything about it. That's like me going out, you know, giving fucking cycle advice. <laughs> then I take this. I don't fucking know what the fuck I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And it's the same shit with him. He doesn't know yeah. NFTs. Like, I don't think, in, in my in my opinion, I don't think he deliberately was like, all right, I'm going to bring in this 250K and then I'm going to fuck. This project's going to go to zero and all yeah. my tools are going to get He fucked. probably just saw, but hey, 92 that. Ethereum, I won't ask any fucking questions. I'll just do what you say. That's the thing. So it's like, but at some point you got to be held accountable. Exactly. I mean? So it's like, yeah. like, like I say, like I talk about GMT and, and all that shit, but I'm open. I'm like, listen, I was an investor in that shit. I was an early investor. Here's the deal. Here's why I like it. And I'm happy to back that shit. Mm -hmm. So yeah, him and a bunch of other dudes got paid, sourced all this fucking bread. And essentially the project promised to do all this shit. And the second, you know, they, they had their mint, which an NFT mint is when you have like, you know, everyone goes and they, they mint it, they, they get it type shit, you collect it. Um, and that's, you know, when everyone pays their bread. So they had their mint, they collected their couple mil, whatever it was, and, and then, then they just fucked off. And then, and then it's just gone. So he pretty much, which... So does that mean the NFTs are gone? When they fuck off, the NFTs just boom? Yeah, I mean, they're there, like, but it's like... Worthless. They're, worth, they're, worth, they're, worth, they're, they're just fucking chilling and shit. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying with like GMT at least. They found a way to use NFTs for utility, you know? Uh -huh. That got actual utility purposes. So this project ended up just fucking going to shit. Motherfuckers walked away with stupid bread. Uh, the developers, again, like he, he posted a bunch of shit and he's like, listen, I didn't fucking know they were going to do that, this and that. I know you didn't fucking know that, but that's why you got to do your due diligence if you're going to fucking promote something to millions of people. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, Tell them to spend their money on it. Yeah, you can't fucking be like, listen, go fucking drop your bread on this shit. You don't even know what the fuck's going on. Yeah. So, but from the get go, it was dodgy, bro. And there's this dude on Twitter, Zach XBT. He pretty much just rolls everyone. Cause like I was saying, it's on a public ledger. You can't fucking hide anything. Bro got nailed for it instantly out the bat. And he posted like a photo on Twitter. I believe it was with Steve's car. Um, but the dude, Zach XBT, retweeted it with the proof, the screenshot of the fucking the ETH address he got sent. And he's like, damn, like, nice to see where your fucking bread's coming from, bro. Like, Wait, so it is all on a public ledger, mm -hmm. but from the picture I saw that showed the 92 Ethereum, it just shows what Ethereum address it's sent to. But how does anyone know, well, well can, that's Bradley Martin's th Ethereum address? Well, bro, for example, so we'll have to go back. I know that dude, Zach, wouldn't have fucking posted that if he wasn't sure, but dude, mm -hmm. some of these influences are so fucking dumb. They go and post their address. Like, they'll post their fucking wallet. Mm. And they'll be like, for example, you guys have heard of SafeMoon? Yeah. SafeMoon. So people still don't know this. And I feel so fucking bad. Like, I had my... my Dude, we threw, we threw like a thousand into SafeMoon. Yeah. <laughs> so people still don't know this. And like, my brother's homies and shit at my crib. And they're like, you know, oh, what do you think of SafeMoon? I'm like, it's a fucking scam. You're fucked. Mm -hmm. they, same thing. Jake Paul got paid millions. There's this, uh, this dude, Ben, fucking Ben Select or something. He's a British YouTuber. He just got fucking nailed. He ended up getting paid 12 million from Safe Moon. And while he was tweeting, Diamond Hands were going to the moon, he was selling right there and then. Like, so people. Damn, that's crazy. It's nuts. So, like, you have people that are like thinking, oh, this shit's actually going to the moon. Like, I'm putting my own money in it. And these fucks are just raping him, essentially, bro, mm -hmm. just right out the back. But again, so this fucking idiot, how he got caught, fucking ended up tweeting his address um, like a minute ago and he's like hey guys if you want to send me any bnb for my starbucks today here's my address boom post brad it on said that shit so this was this dude this was this dude ben so i was just like oh, saying okay. how do you know it's brad's address uh -huh. he probably fucking posted his, uh -huh. his wallet or something at one point this dude posted this british fucking youtuber posted right, 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 his right, wallet right. on his twitter yeah. And then obviously now it's deleted and shit, but these fucks found it and then boom, there it is. And so you can't You'd hide You'd think it. that someone like Brad with all that money would have like an advisor who would be like, hey, use a different address for like, you know, you can have two Ethereum addresses that are both like just two wallets. Yeah. If you're going to scam, don't fucking post your address. <laughs> so what did he say? But what did he say to you? Because weren't you guys like, weren't there... So I fucking... Because you called him out and didn't he say something? I called him out. Um, he didn't say anything to me. I know I had a bunch of people in my shit. And then at the same exact time, Brad was fucking rugging. And then there were all these NFT projects that were slow rug pulls. So what happens is, you know, they fucking, they have the mint, whatever. It doesn't immediately go to zero. But mm -hmm. like I was saying, they have their mint, they have their roadmap, all the things they're promising to do. And then they don't do fuck all. They don't do any, it just, you know, once they have the mint, they just go, go. So slowly the price goes like this. Mm -hmm. So it's a slow bleed out. They were like fucking 10, 15 of these projects. You know who was behind all of this shit? One of the kids is still in high school and the other ones are like 20, early 20s, bro. 
Um, and again, these dumb fucks are like going to the club and shit and putting NFT factory and this shit on. If you're going to be scamming people, you mm-hmm. can't fucking rub it in their face. Oh, is that yeah. why I see like, I go on like my Instagram reels and my TikToks and I see like these kids with like, I mean, dude, they can't be older than like 18, bro. And they're like on private jets and they pull up and they all got fucking watches on. NFTs, and, they're bro, well, that, that and it says like NFT or crypto money or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Is that what it is? Like Scam. these kids yeah. are like just scamming? 100%. Because I'm telling you, I've been in this space since 20, yeah, 2016 and I've done most of my shit. Like it's all been like legit and it takes a fucking minute to climb up those ranks. You don't, unless you get extremely lucky, you're not going to make that money overnight. Yeah. Unless you you're fucking scamming. Run, but no, yeah, you're scamming. scamming. And yeah. so I called out one of those dudes because he had actually been in my DMs. This dude's name was uh, Gavin Mayo or something. He'd been in my DMs trying to get me to promote shit. And so when I called him out and I posted it on my story, he fucking saw whatever slid in and he's like, hey, bro, like that's a wild accusation, this and that. Like we're not scamming people. Like he straight up told me himself, he's never bought any of the, never bought an NFT. He fucking knows exactly what it is. And it was, it sucks because Yes, it's illegal and it's straight robbery, but at the same time, it's not. You know, you're like, hey guys, I'm having an NFT project. Invest in it. You know, you promote it. At the end of the day, you get an NFT out of it. You know, you get something, but you're getting fucked nine times out of 10. So, like, by definition, it's not illegal. And this dude. Because technically, you're getting something in exchange for your money. And they, and they, you know, they walk away. They don't fucking, they don't just like rug it and shut everything down. Um, And these dudes, for every single project, they just pick new influencers and have them be the face of it. And it was all getting run in the back by these dudes um, until one day they had a, the biggest fucking project they had. They were standing to make like, a, I might be wrong, it was either 12 or 20 million. One of those numbers were like the two, call it 12 even. Mm-hmm. Right before that project launched, some fucker dropped a, a whole like fucking manifest document on these fucks that, and how they'd all been connected and this and that. Dudes are in the discords being like, all right, make fake giveaways, make fake this, fake that. So it's like you see these fools that, yeah, like you say, just Rolls Royces, this and that. It's come out of nowhere. That British YouTuber fucking post after he had done the safe moon rug, same shit, flying on private jets to Scotland for his go- with his girlfriend for a fucking brunch, uh, the new Rolls Royce Phantom. It's fucking nuts, bro. But these people go and scam tens of millions of dollars and they fucking post it. Like you post your wallet address and you let people know it is the most bizarre shit I've ever come across. I mean, it doesn't surprise me all that much because when there's a new technology and money's involved in it, then before regulation can hit that market, whatever this technology is, I mean, it's just human nature that is bound to be wild west for a bit. Yep. Like people are going to get scammed and it's almost like that's, that's essential. You have to go through that. And enough people have to get scammed. Enough people have to get angry for something to actually be done about it. Yep. No, 100%. That's, I think that's the way it is with, like, everything. 100%. But, I mean, like, dude, like, again, like you were saying, bro, Brad's got his raw gear, you know, his gym, this and that. Why the fuck would you do that, bro? Shit's got to be, I don't, you know, in my opinion, not working out somewhere <laughs> for you to do that. But mm. same thing as Floyd Mayweather, bro. Mayweather that's walks crazy. around, like, being Mayweather. He's fucking, yeah, he's, he's, he's rug pulling once a week. Yeah. You gotta be fucking broke, bro. Yeah. Um, and it's just, it, it's hilarious because they keep fucking doing it. And I don't know who's buying this shit. I hope that, you know, after listening to this pod, you fuck stop buying this shit because it frustrates me. You so, know. so cousin, how would you recommend people find like legit NFT projects if you're saying, oh, nine out of 10 of them are fucking scams? But some, you, like, I know a lot of people want to get into the NFT space. I'd like to, I don't really mm-hmm. have the time for it to like do the research required, but it's obviously like appealing. There's a lot of money in it. Um, so what would you recommend in terms of like finding legit projects where uh, people don't have to be worried about like, is this going to get fucking rug pulled? Yeah. So you already have like board ABR club and that's probably, you know, the biggest one been popping for a minute. Um, that's like a blue chip. You know, there's so many people, so much money in there that dude, I almost pulled the trigger I just couldn't fucking stomach it. I almost pulled the trigger on an ape at like 250K. But again, I'm fucking I'm about to pay a quarter million dollars for a goddamn JPEG. You know? <laughs> it's like, I just couldn't stomach it. Yeah. Uh, I spoke about it on my pod and shit. And then a couple of weeks later, the floor ripped. They now are like north of 300K. Um, the mutant apes, those shits were like 20K, 30K plus now. So you could go the fucking route of picking up a blue chip because I think board apes, all that punks, that kind of shit, 
they will be good. They're gonna be chill. You know, everyone already knows them. It's crazy because it's just like a. It's that's just the JPEG, right? So pretty like much, Charlie has one, right? Yeah, the so, fucking eight. So, so for me, like, so the whole appeal with uh, the board apes is that you know you get into this exclusive community yeah. where essentially motherfuckers, everyone in there has enough money, um, to drop like you know they got essentially everyone in there has got enough money to drop two hundred fifty k on a JPEG. So it's like you know you're buying yourself. Into like a country club type shit, you know yeah. what I mean? Same way that fucking old fucks go and drop a hundred bands a year to join some club and shit. Mm -hmm. It's the exact same kind of thing. So you can do that. You could go that road. Um, or you could also do, so bro, there's even the projects that scam. NFTs are so hot right now. You could still mint it, flip it, get the fuck out of there. I just wouldn't hold any of this shit. You know what I mean? I, I wouldn't diamond hand any of this shit the best thing to do the best way but I the, would go, the, the ape though you would right the ape i would the, the blue chips you know those are chilling they're a little different um maybe so, I get so one. when you say blue chips you mean large established yeah. they're not going to lose much but they're not going to gain they've much already percentage got a good, they've uh, already got a good reputation yeah. top shit you know they've been in the space so it's too late to like I, if i want to get one it's too Dude, late well, like, I, like i said i didn't pull the trigger on board apes at and 250 it's and then went fucking 300 plus yeah it's kind of so. like if you want to be safe in the stock market, you'd invest in like Amazon. But if you want to be more risky, you'd invest in like a penny stock. Yeah. It's yep. like fucking goes up and yeah. down, yeah. you know? So, I mean, if you want to like get inside, even me, bro, I stayed away from the NFT space just because I know how to trade coins. I fuck, I love my shit coins, bro. That's how I make my <laughs> bread. You know, a small market cap, diamond hand, but sell when it's at a large market cap. So I stayed away from NFTs for the most part. But if you want to get in NFTs, Docs teams, you know, teams that are already out there. They've, they've been a part of previous projects that have succeeded. Um, and they pretty much ultimately have a good reputation because in this space, like you were saying, it's new. It's, it's unheard of and shit. It's all about reputation. And that's why, like, I was so pissed at the dub wise. I mean, uh, I dub shit. I was mm -hmm. like, bro, what are you doing, bro? You, you're fucking, you're slandering my name here, dog. You got to yeah, stop Yeah, no, no, shit. it's, yeah. That's fucking scary. But yeah, so I mean, all these, pretty much any of them, dog. Fucking Paris Hilton, she's rugged a couple NFTs. Um, I believe Lindsay Lohan gets fucking stupid guap for NFTs. Is it's actually pretty fucking disgusting. Like all these, all these motherfuckers, bro, just raking that shit in. And so yeah, going back on that shit earlier, at some point, someone's gonna have to get in trouble because not many people are. No one, no one's getting all those fucking kids. Still just running around LA with Rolls Royces, this yeah. and that. Like, yeah, they got canceled and shit, whatever. But I see that bro still, that dude, Gavin Mayo, still be promoting NFT projects. They don't give a fuck, which is why, like, it like it frustrates me so much. I'm like, you fools keep giving them your money. <laughs> you keep fucking giving well, these I feel fucks like, their money. I feel like, at least for me, what I would think of it is the reason why people are still giving them money is because they want to also scam. So, like, they're trying to scam. Yeah. Like, they're trying to get into, like, and get rich like these kids so they're like like halfway getting scammed but halfway you know what i'm yeah. saying like they're getting like it's just like a, a lot cycle of the, a lot of there's yeah there's been there's been coins that i've invested in shit coins where i know it's a fucking scam mm -hmm. but i'm like well if i can get out before the rug pulls mm -hmm. yeah i'll still and make so money that's what yeah, just bro. feeds it bro yeah. so like 100 then, <laughs> you have the same the same thing with nfts they are so fucking it's the same fucks every project you know there's not in my opinion, there's not like a whole lot of like new people going in and like minting these projects. It's the same motherfuckers that go from project to project, flip it and shit, and, and that creates FOMO. But at the yeah, end of the yeah. day, the second it goes south and motherfuckers stop diamond handing it, it's, I think it'll it goes point. down. So, yeah. I mean, dude, there was one coin I fucking put some money into. It was called Suck Elon's Cock. Oh my <laughs> that God. was the name yeah. of the coin. It's like, do you really expect to see that top 10 coin market cap? Probably not. Like, oh, yeah, Suck Elon's hey, cock is right nuts, there with Ethereum. Nuts, you know? Exactly. So I knew, like, <laughs> just from the yeah. name, like, yeah. this, <laughs> this has no longevity, but, like, I think I made, I don't know, 50% or but something. But, yeah, bro, like you were saying, fools are scamming. Like, you know fucking getting it. Or not scamming, but, like, you know this shit's fucked. Like you, like you say, you buy a coin called Suck Elon's cock <laughs> with an anonymous team. You know that shit can't fucking, can't end well. But it's like same shit. You're like, all right, let me get in. Let me get my fucking get in, get the fuck out. And then everyone else is thinking like you too. So it pumps the fucking price. It sends that shit. Yeah, no, that shit's fucked. It's absolutely that fucked. fucked. But yeah, I, I just, uh, and now obviously here's the thing too. Like why I wouldn't do that. Like I didn't, I wouldn't fucking, yeah, a quarter million dollars is a lot of money, you know, to get paid to promote a project and shit. But Brad will never be able to promote another NFT. Yeah, it's, it's it's done, bro. Exactly. The, the so, like, was done. it worth that? I mean, what's that gonna? 
that's like two years of retirement right there. It's not that's yeah. not enough to retire on. No. Like, was it worth it? And it's like, if instead, if you had taken the road, oh, let me actually learn this shit. Let me do my due diligence and not just fucking take. Because listen, yeah, bro, and it, well, like like you were saying, like, sure, you can argue. Well, I didn't know anything about it, but like, that's the fucking consequence you pay if you're gonna just take money mm-hmm. and not look into it at all. Like, you have to expect that people aren't going to fucking trust you anymore. Yeah, bro. Or if you don't know anything about it, you say, hey, these fucks have paid me a quarter million dollars. I don't know anything about it, though. Yeah. Go check it out. Not yeah. a, not a, yeah. And then it's like, bro. I'm sure the fucking contract they sent over probably yeah. said, so don't, can't do that. don't say that. No, pro- no contracts, none of that shit. Really? I'm just, I, I doubt it. I highly fucking doubt it. Um, but yeah, my whole thing is I want to do this long term and shit. And again, like you're saying, a quarter mil. In today's world, you know, you want to live large, you want to live good. That's two fucking years of money. It's not a whole lot. So while it might be nice to get that nice little cash flow, that little injection. It's, you got to think long term. People would be, dude, people would be surprised with how much money you actually need to make to be comfortable. It's, stupid. it's way more than people think. And it keeps going up. I mean, at least yeah. for me, it's like, I, I thought. I saw, I saw, I don't know what I saw, but I, someone said something about it. And it was like, in today's world, it's so like, you could be making like, you know, way like one percent tile of mm-hmm. be, of you know in the United yeah. States, and people are still like you're not comfortable, like you're still grinding and shit like Dude, that. A hundred thousand dollars a year. Yeah, I know like, people are gonna get hurt at this, but a hundred thousand dollars a year is not a lot of money, bro. Yeah, well, I mean, take out taxes, but I mean, inflation. Think, even people like if you look at net worth, for example, um, like I was talking to Christian Guzman, obviously extremely fucking wealthy, but think about in terms of like happiness, you the bigger you grow, the bigger your company grows, then you start employing people, you start hiring people, then you're accountable for like other people's income. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of pressure on you. So this dude was literally sleeping at Alpha Land when it was getting built. He was sleeping on the fucking ground. And like, and then even as you go up in wealth, the same thing happened with Elon Musk. When he was trying to get Model 3 production underway, he, for three years, he slept at the, uh, the Model 3 factory so that like he could show his employees like, hey, this fucking sucks for me too, not just you guys. Yeah. So it's like the more money you make, the more responsibilities you have, most likely, because you probably need to do a bunch of shit and hire people to start making more and more money. Mm-hmm. And then you have all these people that you're accountable to versus if you're only making 100K a year only, chances are you probably don't have anyone else to be mm-hmm. accountable to besides like your spouse or like yep. your kid. Yep. You know, so it's like less money, less problem. I mean, and it's the same that's thing. That's where it comes when from. When you're fucking promoting shit, you got to stay accountable because you are fucking. The one thing I've learned with crypto too, like I've cooled it on the crypto content a little bit, just because, bro, you get some shit wrong in that space. Fuck, you will have motherfuckers breathing down your neck because again, it's money. It's very it's emotional. Money. Yeah, it's very emotional shit. Yeah. So it's like, I mean, at the end of the day, what happens, dude? Like Lana Rhodes, for example. Yeah, that's the natural selection, you know. You go by Lana Rose. Wait, what happened? She had an NFT. I went, bro, I could fire off 6 9 fucking Lana Rose. All these fucks rug pulled NFTs. Lana Rose was one of the best, though. She straight up did. So she made, uh, I believe it was like one, one to three million dollars on her project. Then, when nothing was happening, because it's a fucking porn stars, and you know, listen, <laughs> big fan, bro. If mm. I'm, if I'm want to run porn, bro, the go to. But mm-hmm. not, not for an NFT fucking, not for an NFT project. So she she took a couple mole, obviously didn't know what the fuck to do. She had a team running it for her. Nothing was going on. Fools in the Discord started being like, yo, I spent my last five grand on your fucking project and I can't feed my kid. Uh, like, what the fuck? She ended up being like, you know what? The team then responded. Well, I think it was maybe uh, Mia Malkova that responded in the Discord. <laughs> And she was Me like, and she was on it too. They were in that shit, bro. Yeah, I, I don't know. If She's it, bad, bro. It, it was the top, yeah. bro. And uh, so she then responded. She was like, "Hey guys, because of all the negative comments, this and that, Lana's decide like she's gonna step away." And then she's like, "Fuck you! Like I'm gonna take the three mil and fuck off." That's ex- literally exactly what she did. No consequences. Like she's not used to negative comments. It's gone. She's and a dude, fucking porn star. And the comments were not negative. It's a dude being like, "I need to feed my kid." Yeah. Like no one. Yeah. Even after, I mean, this is just how. I've never, I never used the word beta males, but this is the definition of beta males. After she jugged their three million dollars and said, "I'm fucking off from the," they were still simping done, over her. They were still in there being like, "Hey guys, be nice. Maybe she'll come back." Like this and that. The most Honestly, man, at that point, like I have sympathy, but you get what's coming to you. If uh, you're gonna yeah. spend the money that you should be using to feed your fucking kid on Lana a porn Rose. star's NFT, 
Like, you deserve to have your money fucking lost. Dude, I mean, like, NFTs, like, Christmas Lana, like, cartoon fucking... Not e- yeah, bro, I just, I see that shit, and I'm like, you're crazy. 6 9 right now, was in the process of rugging a new project. He did uh, his first one a while ago, went to zero. Then, again, they just act like nothing happens. He waits a little bit, now he's putting out a new one. Like, acts like that shit just fucked off. Like where do they, where do they promote these because like i follow some Instagram, of these people bro. i never Instagram. see them all these I, rappers is it on their stories dude, or something everyone's an influencer now Sol- every single soldier person boy is king soldier boy is such a fucking idiot that he one time just straight up fucking copy and pasted an email that he got so he like talked about he's like hey guys go buy this shit this and that and then he left how much he was getting paid in the bottom he's like ah, if you send that tweet we will give you 24 grand whatever yeah. and he i saw that. that i saw that i was just like you gotta understand, even though like I'm an influencer, I tell people don't listen to influencers. Mm-hmm. Like just do your mm-hmm. own fucking research and be comfortable with what you're investing in. Because even now, I can tell the motherfuckers that have no idea what they've gone and bought, and they've just gone and bought it because fucking cousin bought it. Because they'll start the second the price reverses or doesn't do what it wants, it, they don't want it to do. They start tweaking, which yeah. for me, I'm not stressing because I know what I've invested in. It took. Bro, the thing is, like you are the type to get into Solana at a, you know under a dollar. Yeah. And then ladder in maybe up to 30 or 40. Yeah. But then people see it when it's like $100 and they're like, the well, cousin bought it. So I guess I'll buy it too. It's like, yeah, cousin bought it when it was like one two hundredth yeah, of his bro, current you're price. Yeah, bro, buying my Solana, bro. I'm giving you the Solana. Yeah. Man. I'm just telling yeah. you my shit, bro. Like, it's the same thing. Like, I'll have, I'll post shit and I'll be like, oh, the shit looks wet. Motherfuckers never want to buy. It's how the markets work. Markets purely are based, whether it's crypto stocks, whatever emotions dog yeah nine times out of ten people buy the top and they sell the you know the bottom it's yeah. so crazy it's absolutely insane so like my advice with that too when this shit feels like oh my god it's about to fall off a cliff it's been nuking it's done the shit's going to zero that's when you start buying when you fucking are in a place like me with solana i was like i dropped out of school i was done bought a fucking rolex all that shit i was like Hey, motherfucker, this is peak euphoria. We should probably start selling this shit. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> started selling it. Sure, yeah. it went up a little more, but then it fucking nuked. So when you get that peak euphoria, like when you start saying stupid shit, like when the market first crashed in uh, tw- like the 2017, 2018 crash, I was in high school, bro. I was telling fools I was going to be driving a Lambo by fucking the end of senior year and shit. I should have known the crap. And then shortly after that, a few weeks. Nuked. You're getting laughed at. Nuked. Yeah, so it's like. Well, dude, it's funny that. You say that because that's actually really true. I haven't thought about it that way. That must be the hardest thing to do because you are feeling the best. There's the most dopamine in your brain and no, you yeah. have to have the self-awareness to be like, I'm so fucking happy right now. I should sell. And yeah. that's like, that's gotta that's, be the hardest thing. I was going to say that's incredible. Like self-control. Yeah. You because gotta have no emotions, which is why I feel like I'm good at this shit. Cause like I'm fucking bro. I'm missing brain cells. So I'm not, I don't have, you know, <laughs> I don't have any fucking like, I'm not like a propeller head, like trying to study. I'm just like, yeah, hey, fuck it. We'll diamond hand it. We'll sell <laughs> yeah. it. It's yeah. You just try. It's almost like you don't think too, if you think too hard, like then that's when you fuck I it up. I promise you. There's, yeah. there's two kinds of people that I say that win in this space. Complete propeller heads that fucking are the smartest cunts on the planet that know everything to a T and then complete degenerates that will fucking diamond hand something down 60%, continue to hold it. Like, dude, Solana, if I had sold that shit in the first six months I'd bought it to a year, I would have not only not made money, I would have lost money. That shit went sideways. Mm. A lot of motherfuckers, I guarantee, they definitely were people that bought and they're like, nah, fuck this, I'm out, too slow, whatever, yeah. come on. But like degenerates are like, ah, fuck it. You know, I'll, you know, I'll just hold it, yeah. whatever, I'll diamond hand it and then they cook up. But it's literally, you got to do my best thing too, bro. Wait, quick quick question. While Solana was going sideways that two years or whatever, did you slowly kind of stop buying more? Or were you accumulating that whole time because you really had faith? I I, I continued to buy more. I I bought up. There was, uh, I didn't buy any, I think it was like sub five bucks was like the last time I bought. Oh uh, well, I mean that's yeah that's and I but and I continue to just hold <laughs> in just dollar cost I bought average. it like a hundred yeah and I right, mean and yeah I got some under a hundred like the majority I'd say but as it went up like this is because I'm not as like proficient as like controlling my emotions with this stuff it's like FOMO 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 it keeps going up it's gonna keep going up I gotta buy more and more and more but um yeah I mean that's the thing for me is like sometimes it'll keep climbing and climbing and euphoria keeps building but what stops me from selling is thinking well what if it like doubles from here and then like i would have like lost all this money that i could have made but it's like you're not really losing money as long as you're pulling a profit like that's the thing profit is profit and especially in this space 
You ain't. You can be up as good as you want, dog, until you are sitting in fucking liquid cash. You know, you pulled and you're sitting in a stable. You got your money in your bank account. That shit ain't profit. Again, 2017, mm-hmm. bro. Motherfuckers watched, for example, dude, there's a coin that I got called Verge. And oh, uh, I remember Verge. I got a lot of it. Verge Luckily, went, I pulled out, but... I got a fucking tip in uh, like a Facebook group chat. And the dude is like, hey, fucking buy Verge. And I was like, oh, I bet. I put a couple grand in that shit. Woke up the very next day. That mm-hmm. shit had 10 x overnight because mm-hmm. they announced the fucking Pornhub partnership. Mm-hmm. And it went fucking, I remember that. Went nuts. So I immediately, bro, I was in a fucking fret. Like I, my wallet wasn't working on my computer. I went and used the homies. I was like, I'm selling this shit. Like that mm. is absolutely absurd. That shit ended up, you know, from my entry, ended up nuking ninety percent past that shit yeah. because of the crash. So it's like, you got to so you you sold like yeah, right. I sold. I was in the fu- in and out of that shit. There was a lot of shit I didn't. You in it for a day, pretty much, yeah, bro. <laughs> and it literally yeah, overnight just went fucking crazy. But then there was a whole bunch of other shit that had you know rallied for me, um, but not like as hard and shit. And I was like, oh no, I'm, I'm gonna keep holding, I'm keep. And I got fucked on that shit because the market came nuking down. So it's like whenever you like look at that shit and you like. Yeah, yeah, good shit. Start taking some profit. Mm. Just because all all the smart fucks are getting in when no one wants to get in. I'm, bro, it is it is really this simple. You follow the herd, you get slaughtered with the herd. Just don't do what everyone else is doing. Mm. Do what the smart fucks are doing. They eat, sleep, repeat for them. Day in, day out. The hedge funds are getting in at the bottom. They're buying when everyone's selling. And then they're selling it back to them at the top. That's why yeah. the same fuck is just stupid returns every single time. So... It does take discipline, but it's like... Well, I think Verge was the only coin where I actually made a decent move because I bought in and then the Pornhub partnership was was announced or whatever. And it just went... I mean, it went more than 10 times. It went up like 20 and I mean, and dude, shit. when was the last time you heard of it? <laughs> exactly. Well, actually, recently it had an uptick. I'm sorry, Sirius, but your shoes keep talking to me. Um, but uh, I sold... It like tripled or whatever, so I sold my initial investment. So That's I, the way to go. So it's like even if it goes down ninety percent now, and I sell there, I've still already made my initial investment back, so it's still profit. But it ended up nuking. So then I ended up not selling, and I'm like, fuck it. Like I already got my initial investment out of it, and then recently it like went back up a little bit. So I was like, All yeah, right, that's what I've goodbye. done. Because I have like probably like between all my wallets, I only have like three, and I only have. 25 grand like of my own money in it and i'm and i've never sold and and like i know that if i did sell, sell i would like probably make nothing and so to me it's just like well fuck it like and they're in shitty Whoa. coins like it's just like like doge like i'm in doge for a little bit and i'm like you know maybe in like five years who fucking knows you know and, that, yeah. and that's the thing bro like imagine five years from now doge is like sick again well brandon there's um you know there's there's bots that track Elon Musk's tweets. Yep. And anytime he mentions Doge, they immediately, the bot itself will buy Doge because every time he just tweets the word Dogecoin, it jumps like 25% bro, in price. Now, now it's to the point where it's not even Doge, bro. Elon, if he's just like big in the news or some shit, like mm-hmm. the, with the Twitter shit, dog, you know how he was going to- Oh yeah, Doge Twitter. went up just because he was big in the went news. Up, bro. He's just like, he's, he's like linked to that coin now. He's got to have money in it. Oh, bro, I, don't, I, I hope so. Because again, like, there's no, there's no, there's no difference between him, fucking. Okay, obviously he's not getting paid to talk about it and shit. But at the end of the day, bro, you are, you are, you a multi-billionaire, you deserve it, all that shit. You fucking up the little dogs, bro. Yeah, like, you know, by doing that shit. Because again, like you say, if he tweets about it, whatever, the bots, the, the fucks already on that shit. Mm-hmm. They long it, then they short it when the fucks start buying it ten minutes later, and it's easily repeat, bro. It's rinse. But yeah, like you say, dog. As long as you have like a like a solid project, like something like for this, there's a coin called Cotti that like I fuck with. It's on Coinbase and it's like one of the smallest market cap coins on there. Um, that shit survived the bear market. Not a lot, like you like Verge, nowhere near yeah. its all time no, high of 2018. Not. This definitely shit not. ended up so passing, you know, came back, survived. They didn't have any marketing, no paying influences, nothing. So like that to me says like ah, right, this shit should be crack. So like something like that. That would be a good play where you just put that money that you can forget about. That's my word of advice too is like, dude, for fucking, when that shit came crashing down in 2018, I was, was, you know, on my shit for the next six months, but then it gets mad depressing because it's like, oh, well, my money's gone, you know? So it's like, I straight up, bro, Solana, I fucked off. I I, I bought my shit, I fucked off. Next thing I knew, bro, the shit was ripping. Mm -hmm. Absolutely fucking ripping. 
So it's like, I honestly probably would have ended up selling a lot earlier. If you were like looking at your wallet. If, if I was looking at my wallet and I had invested money that I couldn't afford to lose. You know what I mean? But this was shit. I was like, bro, I'm a fucking kid. I'm going to college. I don't really give a fuck. Yeah. If, this, if this crypto shit goes fucking wild, it goes wild. If not, it's all good. And you got to look at it that way because then you're never going to be, you know, pressed about it. You're never going to be upset because like you're definitely going to take L's in the space. But you also can take massive W's. I just missed one the other day. It's these meme coins. I get a lot of questions like how the fuck I play meme coins and shit. Nine out of 10 of them, unless they are a rug from the get go and you pick a rug, nine out of 10 of them will at least 2X before within a, they before within a they couple fall. days of launching and shit. So yeah. my what I do, I get in, nothing crazy, bro. It's a fucking meme coin. 10 grand, 15 grand, that's it. 2X. Yeah, nothing crazy. I pull my fucking, I pull my bullshit. Um, I pull my initial. And then if it goes to zero, it goes to zero. I don't mm -hmm. care. Or even pull a little bit of profit. Mm -hmm. But uh, there was this meme coin a couple of weeks ago called Cult. Holy fucking shit. It ended up, dude, it pumped in like a week. It went like 20,000%. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Which is, and I missed it, bro. And I tweeted, oh. dude, I, I tweeted oh. when it was up like fucking 15,000%. I was like, I'm going to fucking kill myself. Wait, how many, then how I woke up the next day. I was like, I'm going to kill myself again, bro. <laughs> like, I didn't, Crazy. Wait, I don't twenty thousand percent. What is? How, what? I think that's uh, uh, two two hundred times. Wait, Wait whatever. Yeah. Well, yeah, bro. You would have. So ten. If Wait. If, if it ten x's, that's a thousand percent. So, so twenty times that would be twenty two hundred x. Yeah. 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 So if you put a thousand in, it's two hundred. 200,000? No, if you put, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah. So, and it's like, th that shit just happened a few weeks ago. You know, then you had GMT that was fucking before that shit. There's shit ripping left and right. So, if you I take, didn't know meme coins were still like popping like that. Bro, they I are thought, popping. Yeah. MRI was one that I, again. Even so during like, the bear market meme, co like there was shit going on. It's just like a way smaller demographic of people were actually there's, trading there's, shit. There's ways to make money in this bitch 24 seven if yeah. you want it. Even yeah. even when shit's down and there's no hop. But like, uh, for example, where I was saying, you know, being honest and open with people, MRI is this meme coin. It's actually pretty fucking cool as for a meme coin. Um, and what it does, you know, you guys watch UFC at all? A little, little bit. bit. So the UFC fighters, I don't know if you know, but they get paid dog shit money. Like absolutely fuck all, bro. Uncle Dana does not fucking pay them source at all. So this meme coin came out and it's like, listen, we want to we wanna fucking help the fighters. We're going to pay the fighters. We're going to use our marketing fund, this and that, whatever. And all the fighters have to do is they have to shout them out. So for example, the dudes on the undercard, they get paid five grand to show, five grand to win. So, you know, if you lose, you're making five grand to go and then throw your body on the line. It's pretty fucked. I would not fight a professional fighter for five grand in yeah. a cage. Mm -hmm. But this coin, bro, was like, listen, you shout us out. We'll fucking match Dana's shit. We'll give you 10 sticks. So it's like, all they had to do was fucking shout it out, whatever. So as far as a meme coin, it was pretty cool. But these fucks hit me up right at the beginning. And they're like, hey, listen, cousin, bro, we want to send you some shit. Like, all you got to do is tweet a couple of times. I was like, okay, but I'm going to say that you sent it to me. Is that cool? And they were like, yeah, that's fine. So I said, hey, listen, fuckers, MRI was kind enough to send me this shit. Appreciate them. That shit ended up ripping 10x right off, the f right, right off to that shit. It's down now, but still up from when we fucking initially got in. But dude, 10x in like a week or two. Like, and again, then there was that. Then there was cult. Then there was GMT. There's shit every single month. You just got to hit them. And it's like just one of those, like cult dog. Some of these kids, I've get every now and then I'll get a DM that'll be like, you fucking crazy cunt, bro. You've changed my life. Like, I fucking had 400 bucks. I bought fucking GMT. I'm now sitting in fucking 15 grand. I don't have to go to college anymore. Like, I've convinced my parents. I had, You want to hear some dope shit? I had the kid that was running my Discord. At the time, he was 15 years old. from, And he lives in Australia. And he does, he's like my main, he was my main mod, all that shit. And he's a fucking go-getter, bro. The dope shit is, I first got him into lifting. He saw one of my early TikToks of lifting shit. Mm. So he's like, oh, I'm going to get myself right. I'm going to get jacked. Then he saw my crypto shit and started following my crypto shit. We talked, ended up being a mod in my Discord. That fool slid up on my story uh, like a few days ago or like a week, two two weeks ago now. And he's like, yo, bro, where'd you get your Rolex? Like, I'm, I'm going roly shopping. He's now like fucking 16, 17 max. I would say 16 years old. Bro fucking milked it. What he ended up doing, bro, was started making his own NFT projects, all this shit. No rugs, nothing. Point being, bro, 15, 16 years old, bro just wanted it bad enough. And so, like, he hit me up and he's like, dude, I'm now fucking in the best shape I've ever been in. My fucking bank account is healthy. Like, 
thank you. And I was like, dude, it's, it's, I never really had those intentions. I was, bro, I started this shit. I was selfish, bro. Mm-hmm. I wanted the bag. I was like, you know, that's why I'm going to do this shit. I want to get the bag. I want to get the fuck out of school. So it's like, I feel like, especially because I had those intentions is why it would work so well. You know what I mean? I was never, mm-hmm. I was never like, oh, I'm going to go in there and be like the nice guy and like this and that. And like, but dude, there's, I try and tell people all the time, like you want this shit bad enough. You can absolutely have it. Do not do same thing with, you know, following the herd. You're going to get slaughtered with the herd. If the, like people are out there, you know, that are lost, they're like, I don't know how I'm going to make bread. Just d- find the person that you don't want to be. You know, it might be your fucking homie, whoever it is. Find that situation, someone in a situation you never want to be in and just do the fucking opposite of them. <laughs> you know, when they, f- it really is to me that simple. So it's like, yeah. like this, this kid, bro, was in my shit. He'd set up my Twitch, everything. He fucking wanted it. He worked, worked for free. I never paid him or anything. But bro was up in that bitch, bro. It was his bread and butter. And now I was like, dude, you got to be the richest fool at your high school. And he's like, yeah, I'm fucking balling. He's like, I'm not going to have to go to college, this and that, which is like fucking madness. You don't hold any, any money in like banks, right? Is that still, is that still, I, I don't, I don't do fuck all, bro. I've got, I mean, like in my Wells Fargo, like I'll transfer uh, like 50 grand every now and then when I need to, you know, spend it. And that's it, max. Like I keep a lot, I, I think I spoke about on the last pod, yeah. but uh, staking your fucking, uh, your stable coins. And earning like a twenty percent return through Anchor Protocol, dude. I've been doing that since the last pod. Wait, so so so, so you can earn on a stable coin, which is and it's, it's very iffy around it. A lot of people think they're gonna tank because you know they're not backed by anything. But then I say, well, what the fuck's the dollar backed by? Because it's not backed by anything mm-hmm. but the government's words. So, at the end of the day, you know, let's say for example, like the Russia Ukraine shit, when that shit started unfolding, and the fools were told go take cover, you know, bombs, whatever. You know, the first thing Ukrainians did, pulled up to the bank to get cash no bueno bro because it's not backed by anything you know there, there's no they don't have that much cash and people do that so my argument is that you know it's it's whatever but um dude anchor protocol you put your money in a stable coin theoretically tied to the dollar one to one and you can earn 20 percent annually so like you got if someone came to me with five hundred thousand dollars and was like yo i want to you know not not too high risk like i want to be chilling you can retire off of that shit bro you could absolutely just on the on the fucking interest. Yeah, it's like a four hundred one k. Because it pretty much it cuts out the middleman. So when you put your money in a bank, they then go and loan that shit out, right? And they fucking they collect the interest and they give you fuck all back. Crypto, you are connected straight with you know loaner and lender connected straight together. No middleman. That's why you can take that twenty percent cut. Mm-hmm. There's ones that are like a little less risky and shit, like twelve to fifteen percent. But dude, fifteen percent is nuts. And at the end of the day, people don't understand this shit. You work a nine to five. And your boss at the end of the year says, all right, bro, I'm going to increase your salary, salary from 80 grand to 85 grand or 90 grand. You fucking, you jumping for joy, bro. You're like, yeah, I'm up 10 grand. Bitch, you earning fucking the exact same bread you were because of inflation and shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At one point, I don't know what it is now, um, but dude, inflation was going up. Every 30 days, you were losing 1% of your money's value. Yeah. Bro, inflation's fucked right now. Fucking not, bro. I was I think it's the last, the la- within the last like, X amount of months, it's been like, it's inflated almost like a year or something people, like that. I don't know what it people is. People think, the, like, they're like, oh, like, inflate, you know, a lot of economists and shit will say inflation is good for the economy. Moderate. Moderate and controlled inflation is not a problem. This shit is not moderate, yeah. like you were saying. This is, uh, is, is going into a fucking wild west again, bro. Like, I, I, that's why everything's more expensive, bro. Fucking, um, Starbucks raised the prices of their shit. Uh, McLaren raises the price of their shit. Like just everything, everything is just more so expensive. Dude, yeah, like long story short, your money sitting in the bank, you are, whether you, you don't spend it, right? You put a hundred grand in there, you don't spend that hundred grand. You are absolutely losing. You are not fucking making any money in the savings account. Mm-hmm. By then putting it and, you know, farming it, whatever, earning 12% on your money a year, you're not 12. If it's losing 1% of its value every 30 days and you're mm-hmm. earning 12% a year, which is nuts, you're just earning zero theoretically. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. you're not fucking, you're just fucking holding your money's value. Mm-hmm. Which is why, too, bro, when I posted first, I bought a fucking, the Rolex was the main reason so that, you know, I could have diversifying shit and have something that'll hold its value. Not only has this shit hold, held its value, but it's gone up 10 sticks since I bought it. So it's, and I, so many people clowned on me, dog. <laughs> like, you're a fucking idiot. For the watch? Yeah. And had no idea. They're like, dude, you are insane. Inflation's not a, like, it's, because I was saying, listen, hyperinflation, we're not there yet. But dude, this shit keeps going the way it is. It's gonna go south real quick. You know, I was born in Zimbabwe, where we saw hyperinflation take place. They had to completely scratch 
you could wake up in the morning and you know by the time it's fucking evening you've lost 50 percent. it was going crazy and yeah. so they ended up having Holy to scratch shit. they scratched their currency it was out the window um and they went with the dollar same thing in south africa bro you know i then moved to south africa their shit's not as bad but when i first came to the u.s it was like nine ten to one um you know you put in nine ten rand which is south african currency you get one dollar last time i checked it's now like 16 17 to one not it got to like 19 to one at almost one point mm. so like you me going back to south africa if i'd come here with the same amount of money and you know i had it in dollars and shit and now i'm converting it back i'm pretty much almost doubling my money just because the inflation in south africa is so fucked mm -hmm. so it's like people don't understand that shit that you know they they don't get it they think oh i'm getting a raise or i'm, I'm earning interest this you're earning fuck all mate absolutely nothing if your shit is using losing one percent of its value every 30 days it's a dangerous game bro it's a dangerous fucking game and that's why you see all the billionaires and shit assets 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 mm -hmm. they don't sit in cash mm -hmm. they fucking go and they take our loans and the fucking this and that and when they get in that passive they buy another fucking building another apartment complex whatever it is dude even cars if you had said five years ago it was not a fucking it wasn't common for you to be able to buy a whip drive it for a year and then sell it for more than you bought and you know cars were known so like it's a, one of the craziest depreciating yeah. assets on the planet it's no longer a thing anymore yeah i know like dude my jeep those fucks are willing to give me more than i fucking because the wranglers already hold their value pretty well but now with inflation and the shortage of supplies and all that shit they are willing to fucking give me more than i bought it for yeah my model three my tesla model three went up like 10k in like a year fucking crazy dog <laughs> and that was never a thing so it's like i want to see I'm I'm pretty curious to see because I don't know the answers. You know, I'm not gonna sit here and bullshit and be like, I know where uh, I know where the world's going, this and that. I don't. Like the Russia Ukraine shit, I had mad people asking me, you know, do you think it's gonna unfold? How's it gonna affect the markets? Bro, I said I didn't think that shit would unfold. And you know, in today's world in twenty twenty two with nukes and all that shit, I just didn't think there was gonna be a war. Yeah. And I was gonna say this the Ukraine shit when that shit happened, not I didn't get into crypto, mm -hmm. but I was in uh I have like a guy, a stockbroker, so he's like a family friend. And when, when that, when the war, you know, started going on, bro, I'd pump like, I just like put a bunch of money into, cause everything fucking, you know, yeah, no, yeah. War creates a lot of opportunity. Yeah. It's not good. You know, like, no, yeah, it's wrong. bad. Don't it's want just, it, but yeah, it's not good. Well, bro, I just real quick. Do you remember how much I bought my model three for is like 40, 46, right? Yeah, I think so. This is my exact model used inventory going for 70 now yeah, oh, that's crazy. on tesla.com. And I bought it a year ago. Like I bought it one year ago. I mean, to me, that says uh, that says some dodgy shit because that just again and the world five years ago that wasn't a thing, mm -hmm. yeah. never a thing, bro. You, I mean, I was looking like a lot of people like, oh, bro, like you fucking you have all this money, this and that, but you don't even you haven't got a new car, bro. I cannot justify paying fifty grand more, a hundred grand more for a fucking a supercar type shit. I'm not yeah. doing that. Like it's it's fucking insane. I mean, dude, I was looking in Arizona. You cannot find a Urus less than like 400 grand bro in scottsdale 400 fucking really? k for uh, like a used euros here they're like 360 even then bro they're fucking uh, i mean i know when they first came out or whatever dog weren't they like a quarter mil like, yeah the no MSRP. msrp is 224 dude 224 and it's 360 but next year it's more expensive because of inflation so next year the euros is like fucking 230 or something like so that so like my question is you know we're gonna be okay we're chilling what happens to these poor fucks that are already like, you know, the majority of people that are already fucking, they're not thriving. You know, they don't have the bread. They fucking, they, they work can't at, buy assets. They work in a nine to five just to fucking break even. Yeah. You know, what the fuck happens in a few years for them? It's, it's not looking great. Yeah. It's no, I know. Great. I mean, it makes me question like what I'm just so curious. I wish I could see into the future just a mm. few years. What's going to happen to the U S dollar? <sighs> bro. Dude, I got, I'm going to start yeah. buying more shit, bro. I'm yeah. not. I'm not a big fan of the U.S. dollar. I think that. Uh, listen, the way it's going, I think that that shit's gonna. Uh, a lot of people won't like this, but I think it could. It could go to zero with the with the way shit's going, unless they switch it up. Because again, what's the solution? Well, and like, but like not anytime soon though. And I, I don't think anytime soon. Yeah. Um, again, I don't fucking know, and that's just speculation. That's just my, you know, that could potentially happen because again, what's the fucking solution? Print more dollars. Well, now you. It make they, it worse. they tried doing that and look what happened to inflation. Mm -hmm. So it's like, and it's crazy because you had a bunch of people that fucking capitalized on that shit. Like mad business, bro. Like the reason too, like why there's such a shortage of cars, this and that 
the elites have fucking banked off of this shit. Like, I don't, me personally, COVID was the fucking best shit that ever happened to me. No cap. Like, I, I, that shit, because I, I, it allowed me to fucking, while everyone was at home, fucking off, doing nothing. I was like, bet, you know, let's capitalize, let's milk on that shit. Bro, if you look at like all the billionaires and shit, their wealth, how much it's gone up in the last few years versus like the, you know, previous five before that, it's nuts. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely nuts. So it's like you have, it all comes down to me from mindset because like you have a bunch of people that, you know, collected that stuff. They're like, oh, free money. I'm going to go to the Louis store and if I can drop it on a, on a bag or a belt, you know, a jacket, whatever. And then you have these other people that took that shit and invested it. And it's again, not even like you made so much bread, but at least it's fucking hold its value. Cause you need to be making, you need to be making fucking like us at 1% losing its value every 30 days. You need to be making 12% a year just to fucking hold its value. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then it's like, dog, it's, I don't know where this shit's going to go. So, but for me, I don't know what the fucking answer is though. Cause gold's not the answer. What we're going to fucking walk around with gold bars in our pockets again. <laughs> Fuck no, bro. Yeah, I don't understand how, how gold, how I don't understand how it holds its value so well because it's like, who the fuck says it worth it? It's because of finite supply. So it's like, you know, there's a limited supply of it. And again, that's one of crypto's, yeah. um, like one of Bitcoin's fucking uh, incentives. You know, there's only 24 million Bitcoins. And it's a deflationary currency because yeah. people lose their wallets but and all that. Here's my thing though too. You have crypto that's supposed to be, you know, anti-inflation, -infla all that shit. What if you fuck, but people are buying that asset with, with the dollar, money. yeah, with yeah. the dollars. So that's why that's what the shit that I don't get is like, because like if I so I bought my AP, I bought my AP for fifty two gram, and right now it's worth seventy five thousand, and that's been two months. But with inflated money, you know, it's like if I pull, if I, you know, if I sell that watch, it's like, what is the point of selling it? Because the the money's not worth the same it was before. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it could, I mean, it's still no, yeah, but even it's still, so, yeah, like it, you'd still make money. But, but the yeah, but the you know what I'm saying? The dollar yeah. is inflated, so it's like how am I? Like how, how much am I, really, I actually yeah, how much am I actually the, gaining? Yeah. Yeah. The way to go around that again, like all these rich fucks, the reason they get assets is because you can, dude, an AP, a Rolex, you can take a loan out on that shit. So now it's worth, if it's gone up fucking 20 sticks, bro, fucking take a loan at 20 sticks because you know, you're obviously going to get the most money you're going to get for it. But you know, and if it ends up pulling back, losing its value, it's all good, bro. So as long as you can make whatever that interest rate, you know, that you but pay. How, do, how does that work? You can straight up, right? You can just look up and there's certain uh, companies, all that shit, whatever it is, insurance. You can straight up get a loan. Like I looked at, for my Rolex, dog. You can get a fucking straight, use that as collateral. Get a loan against that shit. So you don't even have to fucking sell it. You know what I mean? The more it goes up in value, same thing with these rich fucks. They don't sell their assets and shit. They just fucking, they take a loan out on it, buy another one. Take a loan out on that one, buy another one. And that's why they're never sitting in cash. You know, they're just sitting in fucking assets. And then the dream would be, you know, you have 10, 20, whatever the fuck it is, assets. You know, you've built that portfolio over 10, 20 years, whatever it's been. And you're just sitting there comfortably collecting passive income. And you're only paying tax on that because you fucking, you're not selling your assets. You know, you're taking out a loan. So that's why, because a lot of people forget about tax, bro. And that's why I say 100 grand is not a lot of money. Because mm -hmm. that shit's about 70 grand after all said and done. Yeah, bro, with taxes, inflation, all that shit, it really is not a lot. And let me tell you, especially like LA, that place is fucking expensive. You cannot get, my homie lives in fucking LA, in a, a bit of a shit box, bro. Like I wouldn't want to, uh, it's not nice or anything. He pays like fucking 3,200 a month for one bedroom, fucking one bath. And that's just going to keep fucking going up. So, I mean, even that, bro, you now have that plus a car plus groceries. You don't have fucking... And it's not like a nice, shiny apartment or anything. So it's like, that's a hundred grand a year. You know, mm -hmm. who, who the fuck? For me, it's like a, the unknown. And it's like, I'm kind of excited to see what's good. I don't know why, bro. I feel like a bit of a psycho because we all could get fucked at the end of the day, you know, if this shit goes tits up. But I think it'll be exciting, you know? It'll be, yeah. it's going to happen. So you can't let it worry you. Whatever's, whatever's bound to happen is bound to happen, you know? Yeah. Um, so I don't know, bro. And because you have same thing with all these like senators and shit that, you know, trade on the inside. They are making so much fucking guap through that shit. I mean, there was a list that got um, sent out of people in government that outperformed the uh, spy, like the top performing stocks. Meant to be fucking, you know, in government and shit, not know fuck all about that stuff. You know, Nancy Pelosi is the most notorious one. $200 million net worth. But dude, she's not even, she's not even milking at the best. She's like number five on that list. <laughs> There's like four lokes ahead of her that are making more guap. 
just and inside because they know like what like legislation that's coming and stuff. Yeah, did you see Nancy Pelosi's? I think it was her husband bought like a shit ton of Tesla stock. This is what I heard. Fact check me on this, but he bought a shit ton of Tesla stock, and the next day, it le- like legislation was announced that all federal vehicles are gonna have it's gonna be mandatory electric. Uh, federal vehicles in like the next few years, bro. All these like, fucks. like like cops and stuff. Federal like vehicles. Government. I don't know what that would even include. All, all these fucks. Right before the price of gas started hiking up, you know, and started going nuts because when fucking they when bought electric, all bought Tesla and electric car stock and shit, mm-hmm. and obviously it went nuts. And they fucking knew they're the ones hiking the rates and all that shit. You know, it's and so that's why I'm a big fan of crypto because that's like one thing it will you know algorithm and decentralization it can eliminate that shit yeah it's and then and then you see these then you see the same politicians coming out making public statements being like you know oh uh just go buy a go buy a tesla then you won't have to worry about gas i'm pretty sure it was uh it was like stephen colbert who's obviously like getting paid by these same politicians to like say certain things he was like, yeah, I don't worry about gas money because I drive a Tesla. And it's like all the subliminal messaging, like pump Tesla, buy Tesla, pump buy Tesla, bro. you know, by all these really powerful people that have thousands of shares of Tesla. Yeah. It's crazy, and bro. They're like little, like little hints. It's little hints. Yeah. Hey, Steven, we'll give Damn, you, I didn't we'll, even think we'll about give you that. 50K. Constantly hearing Tesla yeah. in the back of your head, bro. Yeah. yeah. Like, we'll, we'll give you 50K if you talk cool. about how you don't worry about gas money because you have a Tesla. Because I'm listening to yeah. it now and I'm like, fuck, dude, like Cybertruck. Like, <laughs> like, what, like I'm thinking like. If I get a Tesla and then if I get a Tesla, everyone else is going to be like Tesla, Tesla. Mm-hmm. And then everyone just starts pumping Tesla, you mm-hmm. know? Dude, and you know what's it's crazy? Like thing. So there was, uh, there was like an account. And this is why I'm, listen, I'm, a, I'm all for Elon fucking. A lot of people are scared of him getting involved with Twitter, you know, taking I'm over. not. I'm not. Not at all, bro, because. <laughs> Maybe I'm psycho too, but I want to see if it goes, like, yeah, bro, tits up as you would see. say. <laughs> let's fucking, let's see what's good, bro. And let's finally fucking see when there's no bullshit going on. Because again, there was a Nancy Pelosi Twitter account with like fucking 200K followers and attract her trades, which, what's wrong with that? Nothing. Yeah, and there's, that's, it's that's not illegal. Good. Guess what? So they get banned? Down, bro, ban. Gone. <sighs> The fucking Glenn Maxwell case, whatever that happened. Wait, Twitter? Yeah. 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 I thought Twitter was like supposed to be cool with all that. No, bro. Twitter Twitter. Twitter don't give a fuck. That's why Musk is like, you know what? And I'm tired of this Yeah, have you heard of any of the... No, I I saw he's trying to buy it for like 62 something, right? Billion? It's a 40 something billion, yeah. And And he has the liquidity, like he has the actual cash to buy that shit outright. But then you know what these fuck pigs are doing now? But Wait, they didn't take it? They didn't take it? Well, what's funny is Twitter has a fiduciary duty to like if an offer that is good enough gets made where the majority of shareholders want the deal to go down twitter has they have an obligation to their shareholders and i'm pretty sure twitter disobeyed their fiduciary duty the majority of shareholders wanted elon's deal to go through but twitter was like nah well i know because they're fact, scared bro for a fact what tesla's go- i mean what twitter's gone and done so you can do this shit i believe it's called a poison pill um, or something very similar to that. You know, don't quote me on that. But essentially, what it is. So, you, like you say, Musk can do it, bro. But uh, you know, if he gets to that fifteen percent, where he owns, you know, he has mm-hmm. whatever the fuck majority control, whatever it is. But Twitter then came out and said, "All right, if Musk gets to fifteen percent, we are then going to allow everyone on the board, whatever, except Musk, to buy uh, Twitter shares at fifty percent." underneath that cost and then they're gonna fucking mo- double the amount of shares so essentially what that does probably sp- explain that like a sped but essentially what that does is it fucking puts way more fucking shares out there mm-hmm. musk doesn't get to buy that shit and essentially his 13.5 whatever he has now will half he'll own seven mm-hmm. percent you know so it makes it way harder for him to how can they legally more. do that it's called a poison pill or whatever it is bro it's nuts it's I still, I, I still, I still see Elon winning this fight. I fucking hope so, dog. Dude is I'm like, so sick of this shit. He's too. I no, mean, he's bro. already won. He's fucking richest guy in the world. Like, I, I, I have faith. Fools be fucking hating on Elon, but that motherfucker's the goat, bro. The amount of jobs <laughs> and shit that he's provided and all that. You know, people love to fucking hate on billionaires. Listen, if you fucking you got there doing scummy shit, you know, all bailouts, whatever. I get that. But, dude, people like fucking Musk, bro. If that fool didn't exist, you know how many fucking fools would be on the side of the road without jobs and shit? Yeah. And, and like, I mean, how far behind would we be? Because these, these 
gas these the gas cars. car companies had no incentive to make electric cars. There's so much risk involved in that. He was the one who basically created, like, Forced them maybe not up. created the technology, but severely upgraded it. And a lot of people want to say, like, oh, he's not actually, he's a fucking scam artist because he didn't actually start Tesla. He just invested into it. That's true. But he invested into Tesla when it had nothing. It was a shell company. It was literally a shell hey, company. Bro, it was you, just you an and idea. I could have both done that. Yeah, didn't. it had not exactly. You know what I mean? And he saw the he saw potential in it, but th- it had no it had no intellectual property at that point. Yeah. It was nothing. It was actually nothing. So he really started the company. Like if I started Vical, right? But I had no clothes. I had no logo, no copyright, no intellectual property whatsoever. And then someone came in and invested. And basically bought my company from me, mm-hmm. and then they went and made all these clothes. I would say they started the company just because I had like just because I created a shell yeah. company doesn't really mean shit. Yeah, well, they are the company for sure, dude. And I I agree with that. I think Elon one hundred percent pioneered the space. Like he's forced Ford and all these fucking other car companies to come out with other shit because now they have to. Yeah. Them. yeah. So now they got to go and change their whole production, all that shit. Uh huh. Yeah. But way Tesla's more, already there's way more electric cars now. Like. Every, they're every all single single releasing it, even Lamborghini, Mercedes, bro. Lamborghini. Hey, bro. I'll tell you what, too. I was watching a documentary on uh, the fucks in, uh, I think it was Denmark, fin- one of those Scandinavian countries. And, uh, dude, what they've gone and done, fuck, those, those fools are 10 steps ahead of the game. Their fucking gas has been taxed. for It's so highly taxed. Like, it is, like, same prices. It's, it's insane. It's absurd. So what that's gone and done is given everyone, it's, dude, apparently, like, whatever country it was, Denmark, I think it was, 50% of the fucking population now drives electric cars. And so they've gone, the cost of living there and shit is not expensive, but like the gas fucking is. Mm-hmm. So it's completely dog. This whole electric car thing, I think, I mean, that to me is like saying that's where the US is going, you know? Well, yeah, but you, know to to you know what they're going to do? You know what they're going to do is they're going to, like, what I think is going to happen is once everyone goes electric, because that's how it's going to be, mm-hmm. like, it's just an inevitable, they're just going to fucking, like, the, the dollar per, like, volt or whatever the fuck, they're just going to raise that, you know? Yeah, so because but you can also go, you can get your own energy. You can buy solar panels mm-hmm. and literally charge. You can you can power your whole house with solar panels. Well, that's the beauty, dog. Uh, so fucking the Scandinavian fucks worked out real quick. Oil is a finite supply. Mm-hmm. It's not unlimited oil. But like you say, energy, dog. And that shit's There's unlimited sunlight. Unlimited sunlight, dog. So, solar power, whatever it is. So... I mean, the fact that they are already at that point, and the U.S. is nowhere near 50%. Dog, you want to fucking buy some stocks? I'd say that fucking electric car companies are a pretty good bet. Yeah. Just because... I mean, Tesla is so... With that being said, Tesla, I feel, is really overbought right now. Because, like, I forget what it was. You might know this better than me. But, like, the difference between their actual value as a company versus the value of, like, their stock, Mm -hmm. there's, like, a huge discrepancy there. Mm -hmm. Because, like, they don't... They're, the value has just gone exponential because it's all hype. Mm-hmm. That's what know? I think. Yeah, exactly. Like when people hear yeah, electric cars, first thing that comes to the dome is Tesla. Yeah. So it's like, you know, all the people and shit, that they want to invest or whatever, Tesla. Like dude, that is like almost the number one fucking thing that people that mm-hmm. don't know too much about the stock market and stocks and shit, they go to is Tesla. Yeah. And then, but and you have some in like China, like Neo or whatever. Mm-hmm. There's one called like Li, L-I. And like XPEV or some shit. And these ones make like, those are the ticker names. I don't know what mm-hmm. the actual names are, but they make more like affordable. Cause the thing about Tesla is like, not many people yeah. can afford even the base model of a Model 3. Yeah. Like it's not exactly affordable. It is the basically top end luxury. But it's like, it's like if gas cars didn't exist and the only gas cars that existed was like Lamborghini. Yeah. It's like, how many people can actually afford yeah. that? And then all of a sudden Honda comes out. What's with the like, cheapest Tesla? Cheapest Tesla is the model, the base Model 3, which I think right now is like over 40K. Bro, and I remember when they first announced they were dropping that bitch, they're like, yo, you're going to be able to get it for 30 racks. Yeah, that's what I heard. Well, it was, it was, it was like low 30s, but like with demand going up and up and up, so many fucking people buy Model 3s. It's just, they have to like increase the price. Yeah, again. Because like so many people want it. I was someone that's earning, you know, fucking, what is considered to a lot of people, you know, 80, 90 grand a year considered a lot to most people. How the fuck is someone only earning 80, 90 grand a year going to be able to afford a car like that? Yeah, I mean, you can like. On top of all, on top, but not on top of all the other bullshit and stuff. Again, like you're exactly. You you take out a loan, you take out a loan, like you put down. But it's still, it's still hard. Most people only put down, like, you know, most people are only putting down, like, Five grand, if that, like people are, some people are getting cars with no loan. Yeah. 
yeah. or with and no the, or with, sorry with, with no, no down, down payment, payment. yeah Dude, and that just, sucks that's scary that again that goes back to you know the 2008 housing market interest rate motherfuckers yeah. were having to put nothing down on houses nothing mm -hmm. they were handing out these bullshit ass fucking bonds on command just giving it to ever and anything so if, the fact the motherfuckers are not having to put money down on whips uh, that's crazy that's insanity I, I think you know it's gonna end it's gonna end badly when it does top shit so it's like and we have way more problems in today's world than we did in 2008 mm -hmm. and it's like we were talking to like the realtor and shit because you know i'm looking to move out here and all that the dude was he's like bro i'm be honest with you and i know he's a young realtor not again not a fucking neuroscientist but he's like dude i don't see this market correcting anytime soon which is nuts because it's at its highest it's been and a lot of people, I feel like, are waiting for that shit. You know, people are tweaking at the housing prices. Dude, I've been told a million times. I've been told a million times, like, like, wait, it's about to, like, it's about to I've go been down. I've hearing that shit yeah. for And a they're minute. like, they're, like, I've been getting DMs, like, bro, have money aside. Like, I do have money aside to buy property, but it's like, have money aside to buy property. And they're so sure that, like, this is about to crash. But I'm like, I'm in the same boat. Like, I don't see it going down anytime soon. Yeah. It's the same thing. Especially with housing. inflation. Yes, you bro. know, Like, I'm like, because... Now I'm like, fuck, do I just buy fucking property now? It's like, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. I mean, I, like, yeah, I don't know. Dollar cost average that shit. That's why I try to diversify, you know, fucking watches, property, crypto, whatever the fuck it is, bro. Just trying. Yeah. Get, what? Get so money. what, what other assets do you have? Do you have watches? You got some property. How many properties? No, do you so have? Pro property. I'm, that's where I'm going next. Okay. Even at these prices, I'm going to absolutely, I'm just again to get my money somewhere else because like, I don't, I have a lot of my fucking bread in crypto, you know, even just earning that fucking 12 to 20% annually. It's still, like I say, none of us know the answers, you know, what's going to happen in the future. So I think the safest thing that you can do is fucking put your money everywhere, dog. Maybe even like getting a couple of whips and shit, paying them off and putting them on Toro. Not Terrain. a bad idea, yeah, bro. Not a bad idea. You do that. Let's have a couple watches, a couple cribs, whatever it may be. You know, have a little bit of crypto. Like you are at least have some stocks, whatever, but you are at least setting yourself up for, you know, if shit really goes south, whatever, like you're giving yourself the best chance possible. Mm -hmm. You know, like a lot of people be buying gold and shit. Like, I'm not a huge fan just because, like, that shit's fucking boring. And it's like, I, I, I still, like, I just don't see, you know, back in the day and shit, like, it, it made sense. You know, we didn't have all the digital technology. Or I don't see us fucking going back to, like, some Stone Age type shit. Mm -hmm. like, I, I just don't see a world. If you want to buy, like, some fucking some metals, I think silver would be a safer bet because, dog, silver's in our phones, all that shit. You, mm -hmm. need, you need that shit to make And gold. And gold also is... It does have intrinsic value, like it's used in electrical components and stuff. So gold actually has like real world value too, um, and it's just been the standard for so long, yeah. like thousands and thousands and thousands of years. That that's kind of why it's not going anywhere. Yeah, because no, like it's, it's always been there. It's main use for, for me. Gold is not. You don't invest in that shit to make money. You invest in it to hold store you. value. Yeah, store value. That's yeah. that's that's that shit. But. Yeah, bro, the world is a uh, world kind of on its stilts right now. You know, no one fucking knows the answer. No yeah. one knows what the fuck's going on. And you have so many people still just going through the motions and shit because they're like, oh, fuck it, dog. Like, I've, if this shit goes tits up, I'm going to feel so bad for the fools that work a nine to five, you know, slave away all fucking all day long and just to fucking meet, you know, break even, all that bullshit, go on two shitty fucking holidays a year and then all of that bullshit for nothing. Mm -hmm. you know so it's like that's why i at least try and fucking every single day i try and not look into the future because that's when shit gets scary that's you know when yeah. you start tweaking and shit try and focus on today and tomorrow try and be happy just try and fucking bull and it's like there's not, there's not much else you can do you know this shit's not in our hands so when you buy property do you plan on buying land or are you gonna buy like an actual uh like a house or i'm thinking i'm thinking a crib maybe both bro like just because I fucking, I've got a lot sitting in crypto that I don't, that I'm not fucking using. Yeah. And I stake and shit. And it's like, again, me, bro, coming from South Africa and shit, like my credit is still like pretty fucked. That's what <laughs> I was going to say is how can you take out a loan? Because you don't have any history. Well, that's why I'm, I'm going to pay cash for my shit. So that's why also like I haven't See, got. See, that's the downfall of like all this like crypto shit. That's it. Yeah, that's the thing, bro. It's like, you know, you have these countries that have become, that's another thing I got to look at in the future. You know, if the U.S. does come down with heavy regulations. And they don't fuck with this shit. I'm going to have to go to another place like Portugal, which is very crypto friendly. Zero percent on your fucking capital gains. You know, you got El Salvador Ooh. that's made this shit illegal tender. Um, 
It's going to be interesting to see what happens with that shit. Because, yeah, bro, me, like, trying to fucking... I have bread, bro. But me trying to, like, prove it to people, mm -hmm. I'm, like, fucking tweaking, bro. Even fucking even Wells Fargo, they called me I'm like, dude, where the fuck is this money coming from? That's hitting, you know, crypto. This and that. They, they shit themselves, bro. They don't like that shit. So it's whenever like, you need a re-up, just another 50k appears in the account. They're like, like, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? Yeah, like, this fool doesn't have a fucking job, nothing, no paycheck. They're like, what the fuck is going on, bro? I'm like, I'm a walking red. You're man. like, yeah, like, crypto. Dude. Don't worry about it, man. Yeah, just don't fucking worry crypto. About it, what brother. do you tell them? You just tell them crypto. Yeah. And they're like, what? I'm just like, ah, oh, do crypto, and they're always fucking confused. Sometimes <laughs> you'll, you'll have a fool that's like anti crypto though because you know it's the banks yeah then yeah, you have yeah another dude like oh nice bro like i'm, I'm in crypto too and all this and that yeah and it's just like i'm just like yeah bro i fucking i buy coins i sell them higher this and that and it's like i can't really do fuck all about it but that's again bro it's there shouldn't be any questions or anything it's my money yeah. you know what i mean like and that's why i don't like that shit bro like you want to you shouldn't need to fucking justify like at the end of the day dog if you fucking you want to pay for something the bank can shut your card off whatever at any fucking given time and it's your bread you know what I mean? Like, there's been, when I was trying to buy my podcast equipment, mad embarrassing, dog, shopped around the whole fucking thing, all that shit, made the dude fucking ring it up, everything. Dude, that's the worst. Swap my card, denied. I was like, I'm looking at my account, I'm like. <laughs> like, I got the money right here, I'm bro. like, boss, bro, I swear I didn't just fuck you. Like, I, I'm, I'm confused. But then I'm calling Wells Fargo, no, it was a suspect, this and that. I'm like. Yeah. It's my bread, bro. Allow yeah. it. Allow it, dog. So it's like. Those fucks have got, you know, it'll be interesting too if this shit comes crashing down, what they do with everyone. Because again, like I was saying, Russia, Ukraine, first thing those fools did, flee to the banks to pull their cash. It's crazy how much people, and me, me included, they still have trust in these big institutions. Because look what happened with, uh, look what happened with GameStop and Robinhood. As soon, Nuts. as soon as big, as soon as the whales started losing money. Gone. It, they didn't even try to hide. They it, didn't even it. try to hide it or cover it up or say, "Oh, here's why we did it." It's just like, eh, we we shut stopped we stopped Fuck trading you. of yeah. it. Fuck you, yeah. They literally shit in their hand, slapped everyone in the fucking face with it, and said, "Do something about it." Like, yeah, it's, it's what fucking, can you even do? It's nuts, bro. With these big corporations and these big fucking, they can I do remember, whatever the I fuck. I forgot yeah. about that. They can do whatever the fuck they want. And no one fucking bats an eye for some reason. So it's like that. Or people bat an eye yeah, and they, they cry do, and complain, but nothing. what are you going to do? Yeah, yeah. Like, that's what I'm saying. So it's like, it's, at the end of the day, it's fuck all. It's nothing. So it's just at least for me, like that's where crypto will eliminate that shit. You know, it'll eliminate the human error, the greed, all that bullshit. Dog, there's those bank CEOs and shit are taking in tens, hundreds of millions every single year through bullshit that they should not be. Yeah. And it's like, dude, fuck, it must be nice to be in that position, you know, but it's wild like 2008 when that shit came crashing down one dude got rolled for that and there's still people to this day that are fucking you know struggling from that yeah one dude they, they use one dude as a scapegoat he wasn't even the main dude the main dude ended up fucking dipping getting his private jet back to the hamptons opened up a new firm on you know five doors down on wall street jesus did you have you been for have you been watching um uh, you know Giordani? Yes. Have you been watching that PayPal shit? I've seen that shit. Like, bro. how fucking crazy is that? Yeah. So, That's for those, yeah, for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, you can go on um, Jordani Kraya, his Instagram. We're all following him. K R A J A. So, yeah, just look up Jordani in our following, and if you go to his page, he's got some posts up about PayPal. So he had like 100k or something in his account, and um, I guess in the span of an hour, it just started doing a bunch of foreign exchange um, transactions from Russian ruble to like Czech. And then back to USD. And so PayPal, in order to do that, PayPal takes like a fee because it's like, oh, you're using our service to Forex. Like, then we're going to charge you however much money. And then it, did, it happened so much that he had lost like a hundred grand. And in like 30 minutes. Yeah, in like 30 minutes. And then that's wild. He was like, yo, I didn't fucking do this. And they were like, oh, like it says you did. It's from your device, blah, blah, blah. You got hacked or something like that. So they tried to say it was like a hacker or, or he didn't know what happened. He was like, I got hacked. But really, like, when it, what it comes down to is fucking PayPal. Like, PayPal did that shit. Like, they they, they literally had admitted it. Yeah, because yeah, I was going to say, like, who the fuck? Like, I, I'm still, like, I, I know what it went Oh, well, PayPal's shit, always been like, sketch. Always. Yeah, ever since always. I was in high school, bro, PayPal was always fucking sketch. Always, bro. And again, motherfuckers, because they're the middleman. The, the crypto, you don't need no PayPal. It eliminates them fucks, bro. Yeah. It eliminates them fucks. But that shit is the most... It's fucked. And because they literally had admitted, like, because when he went on the news, like, he ended up going on the fucking news and, like, making all these posts and probably has, like, uh, overall, like, four or five hundred K reach on Instagram of all the posts. And they were just like, Oh yeah, here's the money back. And the money just like appeared in his account. And, it, and yeah, like, that's fucking nah, crazy. He that's was on, he was on the phone with PayPal, like recording these conversations 
probably 20 hours in total talking to PayPal customer service. They're saying you're shit out of luck. They're saying, oh, I'll talk to my higher up. They're saying this, they're saying that. We can't get your money back. And as soon as he gets the news involved and PayPal finds out that CBS was at his house, he goes and checks his PayPal balance and all the money's back. Fucking disgusting, dog. He's fucks crazy. He's fucks a dirty, bro. And then I was like, oh, shit. So I pulled all the money out of my PayPal and transferred it, and it wouldn't let me. It said transaction denied. And it didn't give me an explanation. It just said transaction denied. So I'm like, that's, your that's when money, I started bro. sweating. So then I transferred like a third of it, and it said payment pending. We need to make sure this is a valid transaction. And it took 12 hours to transfer to my bank, even though I made it a 15-minute transaction. And then, so I did another third and then I did another third and I was able to get it all into my bank. And then from there, I'm like, I'm never, as soon as I fucking get money in PayPal, right in the bank Mm -hmm. from now on. Again, though, bro, you're taking that money and putting it in the fuckers that crashed the shit in 2008. It's fucking. But what's crazy is. You have no way to put this shit top, you know, top shit. It's like, where do you put your own money? There's no way that is. And again, I I love fucking take it out in cash, leave it in the safe. I'm all pro crypto. I fucking love, you know, I've got a stiffy for that shit. But at the end of the day, it's very volatile and shit. You can't put all your money in crypto. So what do you do? Put it in a bank that's going to fucking assets. You're right. Yeah. The the only thing is assets, like physical things that you can. Not enough people like understand that. Like they still have so much trust in these big banks banks and shit. And it's like, it's insanity to me Mm -hmm. because I'm just like, it's it's going to end ugly dog. It has to. It's. Again, the, those same fucks at the top are just raking in that money. And the fucking, the, the poor fucks are just getting poor and poor. They're getting dog bar inflation. Mm-hmm. You know, all that shit, taxes. And you got these fucks up at the top that ain't even paying taxes because they buy an assets, you know, so they're not selling anything. They pay tax on their pa- passive income that comes from that asset, but they're not fucking, they're not actually selling it. So like me, for example, too, like a lot of my crypto, you can put it in Nexo and fucking Nexo is like a lending platform and shit. You can put that shit in there as collateral and then fucking take a loan out against that. So you don't want, let's say you don't want to sell your crypto, but you want to take profits type shit. It's not even, I think it's like, dude, like maybe they charge you like 12, 12% interest a year. So, you know, if you can, if you are sure that you can make more than 12% a year on that money, you know, than that interest, so you can body that shit, put your crypto in there, take out a loan, pay the 12% interest, go and put that money in a house that's going to make you fucking 50%, you know, mm-hmm. type shit, then you're good. But it's like dog. So that's one thing that I've been doing just to try and fucking not sell my shit, you know, and not have to pay taxes on it. It's mm-hmm. what these big fucks are doing, bro. Time and time again. But it's like, it's, it's interesting. It, it's a world that I don't really want to be a part of dog. It's fucked. But yeah. it's like every single time, you know, you speak to older people, they said the same thing about their generation. They're like, oh, we, you know, we thought we were fucked this and that. I mean, dude, the shit that's going on, I don't know if you've seen, bro, but Netflix, I spoke about this shit on Twitter because that's why I'm a little out of pocket. Fools weren't happy with me, bro, but I posted a, a fucking screenshot. They're dropping a movie of uh, like a dude that's pregnant. And I was like, I'm, and I was like, no mass, bro. Like, I, I'm, you know, like my fucking, how many little kids and shit watch that that are going to fucking watch that and be confused and shit? I was just like, it's absolutely insane, bro. These big fucks do whatever they want. They push this shit. Same thing. Well, I'm so pumped if Musk could get on Twitter, bro, because I feel like he doesn't give a shit about that stuff. You know, he's yeah. he's at the point where he has so much fucking money and he's not making it through all this bullshit. You know what I mean? I don't think they're going to let him do it then because they're going to know that. That poison yeah. pull, bro. Yeah, they're, they're going to know. They'll just initiate that shit and then Musk. But, dude, I'm, I'm hoping that Musk has got such big fucking nutsacks that this dude's like, you know what? Like, you trying to fuck me? I'm going to fuck you twice as hard. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. But again, there's only so much, only so much the dude can do. So it's like, you got to stay woke in this world, dog. I promise you. Otherwise, you're going to get eaten the fuck up. You're going to get eaten the fuck up because everyone else is trying to fucking eat. You know what I mean? They don't give a fuck. They don't care. It's all fucking personal interests. All they fucking care about. Well, do you see the... um the GOP in Florida just revoked this like special tax status for Disney because Disney was that. doing some fuck shit. I saw that. And the now GOP gotta... was like, all right, well, then you don't get the special tax status anymore. Fuck you. And it's something like 200 mil or something that they got to pay now on taxes. Yeah. Which is fucking, it's nuts, bro. Thank God, though. Thank, thank goodness people are finally getting called out on their bullshit. It's just Florida. <laughs> yeah, just Florida. It's bro. like just Florida that are, that, like, imagine if every state Wait, made that happened? move. I don't, I'm not too like caught up on it. I need to look into it more, but Disney was basically just like 
they just they were just making scummy ass content that fl- I guess Florida didn't like. It had, didn't it have something to do with kids. I'm I'm Wait, were they like, I'm, were I'm they like you pushing a narrative. I'm with you on this. I don't know too much about it apart from I know they got fucked. That's right that's all I really know is because Disney because I remember seeing the headline about what Disney was doing and I'm like, uh, that's fucked. But then I was just busy, so I just didn't like read it. But I need to look more into that. Dude, Florida's with the shits. I mean, they're fucking the Miami governor or whatever. That fool takes uh takes his fucking paycheck and Bitcoin and shit now. Um Damn. he was fucking saying fuck no to the mask mandates and shit. There was like a gym. I saw an interview, one of his homies, they were trying to fuck his gym because he was staying open uh, and wasn't enforcing masks. Oh, yeah, it was um, Attila's gym in New Jersey. Yeah, bro. Yeah. And motherfucker came in and swooped it. And I was like, dog, I need a couple more politicians like that. Yeah. It's crazy, too, because the politics, dog, that shit is the most poisonous shit on the planet. I think I think we're talking about the same thing. You're talking about the dude with the beard? Long ass beard. Probably multiple occasions. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. I mean, probably multiple shit. But all I know is, uh, like, the governor of Miami had to get involved in whatever, and he's. Like, oh, so this was in Florida. Yeah. It could have been in Florida. Yeah. All I know is his ass, and he called him whatever. You know, had to make it happen. But the dudes, yeah. are just it's crazy to me because like they're trying to shut down a whole business, you know, over the mask bullshit. But like now, dude, I flew here. Yeah, the plane shit is crazy. No more. It feels weird. Yeah. It yeah. feels weird, but it's just like it's insane to me because two months ago, like you'd. Put people, or like, I mean, a month ago, a couple of weeks ago, you'd put people in jail and no, you know, no more flying, you know, on the no flight list and shit. If they weren't fucking with, uh, they weren't fucking with the mosques or whatever. What's changed in the last few weeks? The course determined that's actually fucking, you can't do that. Yeah, I'm just like, it's absolutely fucking nuts, bro. Yeah, isn't yeah. that crazy, bro? They were doing that without even like approval. And yeah. then once it finally like hit the, like whatever it was. Like, once they were like, yo, wait, actually, this isn't right. Yeah. And then, so we spent a fucking two, almost two years, bro. And then, yeah. And then the, 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 you you know, the press secretary for the president, Jen Psaki, she's the, the lady with the red hair down to here, looks like a fucking substitute teacher. She just, I mean, obviously a press secretary's job is to fucking lie and like paint. The, yeah. whoever they're representing in the I best possible Trump's, light. Uh, Trump's chick because she was bad. Yeah, she was cool. And she was also smart. Yeah, and, she was uh, with it, bro. But nah, this, so this reporter, you know, said, hey, you guys, like, you had to revoke the mandate on flights. And um, Jen Psaki was like, yeah, but we still strongly encourage everyone to, like, use masks on planes. And he said, well, all of us reporters are sitting in very close proximity and you're not recommending that we use masks in here. So why are you recommending that we use them on planes? And she said, I'm not a doctor. Are you a doctor? I'm just taking my advice from the CDC. Oh, my God. It's like their, their new, their, their new tactic is like, if I'm not in X, Y, Z profession, then I'll just say, Oh, I'm not, it's like, you know, it's an easy, like deflect. It's, yeah. it's like, if you asked me to drive a car and I said, Oh, I'm not a race car driver. What do you expect me to be able to drive? It's like, what do you have to be a fucking professional to be able to speak on anything at all? Bros just pick and choose. They just pick yeah. and they pick and yeah. choose whatever they want. You know, exactly. it's yeah. absolutely absurd dog. Like again, same thing, Arizona, we've had. Same thing as Texas, I'm sure, but, like, masks have not been a thing there for forever. Mm-hmm. Dude, even, like, bro, even in Chicago, like, even in liberal fucking places, no one gives a fuck. And like, like, dude, you can go to a nightclub and be shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> you can go to Coachella and be shoulder to shoulder, but then still have to wear a mask on the plane going home. <laughs> that, yeah. do, that doesn't add up to me, bro. You know, no, I don't really get What was, like, the what's the plane narrative? Like, what's the point? I don't really get it. Like, to make it seem, it's to, re, like, reinforce, like, Hey, it's still a really big problem. Don't forget, like, you still have to do this shit. Because if you just let people never wear masks, then people slowly start to forget about COVID. And then it loses the whole power. Bro, COVID's gone. I don't even hear any shit about COVID. Exactly. I mean, same. But, like, a lot of people still care. Yeah. And I saw this tweet from this guy. He's, like, a a political figure. And he had... He was double masked on a plane, and he was wearing goggles. And he's like, I don't care what some... Trump era judge says about the mandate all of you fucking idiots that aren't wearing masks anymore I'm here I'm double masked I have my goggles on it's like bro you're in a you are in a cult yeah. like you are quite literally in a cult yep 100% so bro. it's just crazy but it's like bro if you want to walk around in a hazmat suit like go ahead yeah, just yeah like, go like, for it like just be aware that you're in a cult <laughs> yeah but you better rock the hazmat suit though because again like if everyone's fucking around you without a mask and shit I, again I'm not a doctor speculation but I feel like <laughs> You fucking, you know, everyone around you and shit doesn't have a mask, coughing, whatever. You can wear fucking two, three masks. It doesn't, 
Yeah. You know, yeah. And rock a full hazmat suit, bubble, bro. bro. Yeah, don't let, don't let that shit fucking come, you know, come near you, bro. Rock the hazmat suit then. But it's like, it's absolutely nuts to me, dog. Like, how yeah. it's just, it's so picky and choosy. And it's like, we do what we want to do when we do it. And we don't give an explanation. I think the biggest... I think a big turning point for a lot of people, because this one didn't matter what side of the political spectrum you were on, mm -hmm. is when pictures and videos started getting leaked of all of these politicians mm -hmm. that were enforcing the very strong mandates, going to parties, dinner parties, birthday parties, big gatherings with other powerful people, politicians, bankers, whatever. None of them are wearing masks. None of them. And when these pictures get leaked, yeah. the, it's always the same thing with these politicians. It's either an apology. Or I'm, it was, uh, that was the thing with the guy from California, fucking Newsom. He was like, he went to a dinner party right after he said, Expensive he said party, indoor bro. and outdoor mask mandate. You have to wear a mask fucking everywhere you go. Yeah. And then he goes to this expensive dinner party with like other politicians and they're all sitting fucking shoulder to shoulder. None of them were wearing masks. And all he does is come out and the whole fucking thing's memory hold because he just says, yes, I'm sorry. That was a bad move on my part. I'll act better next time. And then the news just doesn't talk about it and people just forget. So, and then with Lori Lightfoot in Chicago, she's the, the, the mayor right after she enforced mass mandate, she goes and gets her hair done. Mm. And there's like three people like with her and like, there's the person doing her hair, yeah. none of them wearing masks. And then she doesn't even apologize. She, this is the equivalent of shitting in her hand and smacking it across <laughs> someone's face. She says, well, I'm a public figure, so I have to look good for TV. I have to be presentable. And it's like, well, if I can wear a mask while you do, <laughs> you know? And same thing with Nancy Pelosi. Like, I can go on and yeah. on. Barack Obama's fucking birthday party. There's so many of these instances where it's like, well, none of you fucks are wearing masks, and you're the rich and powerful ones. Why should I? Watch why that. should I? You guys aren't even, what, are you not worried about your own health? I don't uh, think. It's like you're still in school, bro. You're just getting shot on and you're just getting told what to do and shit. Yeah. And there's like no reasoning, nothing. And then yeah. motherfuckers are doing their own thing. It's absolute. I try not even think about it because that shit gets me hot. It gets me fucking mad because at the end of the day, too, like, what, what am I going to, what can I do about it? Like, yeah, you can't do shit because that's yeah. complaining. They're going to do what the fuck they're going to do. You know well, it's I mean? like if someone comes up to you and says, they hand you a cup and they say, hey, take a sip of this. And you're like, no, you do it. And they're like, no, I'm not going to, but you have to. And they keep forcing you to do it, but they refuse to take a sip. It's like, I don't fucking trust you anymore. What's going on, bro? Yeah. <laughs> like what's one, at least that's one benefit that I feel like has come out of this shit is people don't be fucking fucking with the government yes. anymore. They don't nah, trust it. it. No matter what is. side you on or anything, like fools ain't fucking with the government. Yeah. Are people still were. fucking with the vaccine? Oh, yeah. There's still like, there's a huge portion of people that... Like are people we going would be in and appalled getting their boosters to hear, and shit? Oh yeah, nah. That's crazy. I can't. Though. I can't say who, but someone that I'm close with is in a group chat with other older people, like 60s, 50s, and they're in a group chat together. And all of this person's friends are like, "Just got my third booster." And like the other friend will be like, "Yes, I'm about to go get mine." Oh yeah, I got mine on Tuesday. Feel feel boosted up. Like making joke, like weird jokes about it. It's like cult. literal cult. Yes, <laughs> it's like you guys are in a cult. You know that, right? <laughs> Absolutely absurd, dog. Absolutely. I mean, just with all the shit out there, I can't believe that's a thing. I cannot believe the motherfuckers are still doing that shit. Yeah, no, the vaccine shit's still crazy to me. It's absolutely nuts. I mean, People you look, are going back and they're like, oh, got my, got my booster. Dude, I mean, like, crazy. for example, like, somewhere like South Africa, like, yeah, their fucking, their cases were gnarly because, again, a lot of the fools there believe in, like, you know, traditional medicine, witch doctors, all that shit. So it's not that they didn't have any vaccines. They fucking had them, but lokes were fucking throwing them, you know, destroying mm -hmm. them, not taking them. So, yeah, like, well, when COVID was a thing, their fucking, their cases were high, but I'm pretty sure we got to go look now. It's nothing. And I can guarantee you they didn't fucking end up taking the vaccines. Yeah, well, all they did in, yeah. I think, w w as some South American country, I don't know if it was Chile or something, but they have, like, common sense laws there. And what they would do is they, the government paid for, like, these COVID health packages, and they passed them out to every citizen. They'd show up at your door, knock, and say, here... There's ivermectin, there's hydroxychloroquine, all these things that he, like in the US, it's taboo to talk about because it's like pseudoscience or whatever. But over there, they're like, well, the science seems to back it up. Josh, blow it that way. <laughs> Blowing it in front <laughs> of the camera. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, it's giving me smoky effect. 
No, but so all of these things that are like taboo over here and you'll get called a conspiracy theorist if you take ivermectin down there, they're like, well, the shit seems to work. So we'll hand it out to people for free. It's dirt cheap. So it'd be like zinc, vitamin D, HCQ, ivermectin, and they handed them out to people and cases just went straight fucking down. No vaccines really needed. You know, I mean, dude, for me, what was an eye opener was when I went to Cabo um, with my fucking Italian for spring break and no masks, nothing there. And it is, dude, I mean, it was ASU spring break. So it is an, it's absolutely disgusting. You cannot walk anywhere without fucking bumping on people. Yeah, this and that. Six feet. I must have had at least 50 drunk kids come up to me and be like cousin fucking spitting in my face and shit because <laughs> they hammered, you know, yeah, is what it is. Um, and dude, I was looking at the fucking cases and shit while I was there. None. I was like, what happened, bro? This shit just fucked off. I was like, this is I've ne- this is crazier than it was pre I mean, bro, think about the club. Like, you go, every, you go, you know, let's say you go you twice a month, bro. You go to the club twice a month. You're, sh- bro, there's like, <laughs> I know. you know, there's a shit ton of people. Dude, they are in your face. And, and, and it's so loud in there that someone's ears right here and you're going... Yeah. Hey, I'm James. I yeah, see you. exactly, bro. And you're like, dapping them up, and like, there's all like, there's random fucking females. Like, bro, it's crazy. That's crazy. Nah, it? but did you guys notice? And no one gives a fuck. No did one. you guys notice? I don't know how like much attention you pay to the news, but just in social media, popular culture, news, whatever, media in general. Once this whole shit with Russia Ukraine started, COVID Gone. disappeared That's out of the news cycle. I know. Gone. Gone, bro. And I think my theory. This is conspiracy. I'll admit it is that these people in power aren't stupid and they started to realize that even the the blue pill types that are kind of just going with the flow even they started to realize hey this kind of all seems to be bullshit what's going on here and then the people in power frantically were like crisis come on crisis crisis and oh, boom crisis proxy war with russia through fucking ukraine okay now everyone's riled up about that and it fucking worked all these people were like, oh, we're focusing on stand this with, now? Stand with Ukraine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was Go just on. like the fucking black box with George Floyd. It was just like the fucking mask thing. Then it was the Ukraine flag. No, also the Will Smith shit. There was yeah. some, there's a conspiracy that it hid some crazy like COVID thing where, dude, I don't know what it was, but it was like really bad. Like some like multiple kids had died or something. Wait, dude, let me look it up before I say some bullshit. Well, dude, that's that's the thing, though. Like, going back on that, you know, no one has fucking faith and shit in the government anymore. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like, you know, that this wouldn't be a conspiracy theory five, ten years ago because fools are like, oh, bet, you know, it happened. No trust now. Anything that is done mm-hmm. is being second, second question. You know, mm-hmm. motherfuckers are looking at it and they're like, oh, I'm finally starting to think for themselves because I feel like that is, I mean, at least what I've noticed on TikTok, too, and I know you fuckers get this shit all the time. Uh, how do I start working out? Uh, how do I get into crypto? Mm-hmm. Are you shitting me? Yeah. You want to get into working out? Go to the gym. How, yeah. How, you know, how does that logic not fucking... <laughs> if I want to work out, just go to the gym. It's because they, want the, they, want, the, want, they get, want the blueprint. They want it like spelled out. You want to get into crypto, do what I did when there was way less fucking uh, content out there, way less information, way more dodgy as shit. Yeah. And just go on YouTube, how to get into crypto. Yeah. Like, problem solved. Like, yeah. And it's just like... But I feel like at least now people are finally starting to think for themselves a little bit more because it's like... Definitely. All right, we were letting these big fucks make the decisions, do it for us, and they've kind of shagged us a little bit, you know? So it's like... I mean... Dude, there's some saying. It was so fucking good. But I can't remember the saying, so I'll probably fuck it up. But it's like the three things that will never... The three things that will always show themselves is the sun, the moon, and the truth. You know what I mean? So the truth... As long as your side has the truth on it, the fucking scam artists of the world, they can only pull off a scam for so long. Mm-hmm. Like time tells all and eventually truth does get out. So it's like no matter how much like control they try to keep on on a situation or a narrative, if the truth isn't on your side with it, eventually people are going to fucking figure it out, especially with the advent of phone, social yeah. media. And like you can ban as many fucking accounts as you want. Like Alex Jones, sure, he says a lot of crazy shit. And they banned him on YouTube. They banned him on Twitter. They banned him on Instagram, Facebook. Alex Jones is, boom, gone off all these major social media platforms. He's still pulling in millions of viewers on his own website. Because people want, the more you say, don't listen to this person, people are going to get more and more curious and be like, well, why don't you want me to listen to him, huh? Yeah, yeah. And the craziest part is he actually says a lot of shit that is like, that's true and came to be true. I mean, he was talking about Jeffrey Epstein for for years before anything came out about him. All right. So this is, I don't know. I don't know what I heard, but okay. This is saying that 
supposedly, and this is this is fact check, fact check, and they said it was false. But like, who comes up with that shit? You know, we've talked about that. Like, yeah, bro. The fact oh, checkers. Wait, like, what is it? USA Today. What is it? it what's, w- what's the what's the website? The fact check was in India Today. India Today. All right. Yeah. Let's trust but India I guess today. so. I guess it, it was false. But the Will Smith shit happened right when Tom Hanks was. Um, Tom Hanks has finally been jailed for his crimes. And nah, I doubt. I and, doubt and John Hanks has been jailed for it. But something happened. Supposedly, he got arrested in Australia for pedophilia, and they damn. had to cover it. I don't know, but that's saying. But people are saying it's false. Mm. So I don't know what the fuck. But do you know like Tom Hanks? You know Tom yeah, Hanks, right? Bro, like those, yeah. those, super pedo and like yeah, those elite motherfuckers. Yeah, so. we've been talking about like PizzaGate and shit or the yeah, uh, pedo and, gate. That shit's crazy. The bro. thing, the problem I have with fact checks is it'll be like, you know. There will be, let's say, a conspiracy that um, Joe, Joe fucking whoever, like, killed, killed some people. And then one person will repeat the claim and say, yeah, Joe killed three people. And a fact check will come out, and if they're trying to defend Joe, they'll say, yeah. actually, this is false. We rate this false. And that's all people read is they just read the headline. We rate this false. And they're like, actually, I fact check it and it's false. But if you read further down, it's like, actually, Joe only killed two people. He didn't kill three people. It's like, well, he's still a fucking murderer. And if you only post, if you only look at one little subsection of what people are saying and you ignore the larger theme, which is Joe fucking killed people, then, yeah, technically that one claim is false. But, like, you're misleading people, knowingly misleading people by manipulating because you know the majority of people are just going to read the fucking headline they're not going to read further down in the fine print where it says well joe actually did murder two people it just wasn't three so therefore we think that this is wrong i mean dude and like you know correct me if i'm wrong but what is the difference between listening to our opinions and news sources yeah. that have constantly exactly. been caught capping. Exactly. what is the what is i'll tell you the difference like we will never find I'll, the truth no nah, i'll yeah. tell you the difference you'll never find the truth is in a way, we're more trustworthy because we don't have any fucking third party interest. No Anabar, no, Anabar no, isn't telling no me to promote Donald yeah, Trump. No yeah. You know, like there's an, exactly we have no incentive to lie. Nah. But you know these yeah, these the major shit. players, they're getting fucking paid to lie, and, the yeah. and they're all and like blackmail too. Like they've all done shady ass shit, and it's like, hey, yep. if you say if you talk about blah blah blah, we got so much fucking dirt on you. You you're getting put under, bro. You know? I I can guarantee you that Will Smith shit. Was fake as fuck, one thousand percent, one thousand percent. Like the actual video and the slap, that shit doesn't make sense. The sound, like everything, doesn't make sense. There was something like that should happen for a reason, and I don't know what it was. I don't know what conspiracy it was because obviously I don't know because I don't I don't know shit about shit. But like, definitely, bro, like that. No, you like, know, you know what? How much make- new? How much fucking news it made? Like, dude, that shit. You know what I said? That and they're like, actors too. You know what I said? Yeah. That didn't, they're didn't, fucking, they do that for a living. They're like, they're <laughs> yeah. like, bro. They were like, no, that was real. Do you see how upset he was? I'm like, bro, these guys are Keep fucking. Keep my act- wife's yeah. name out. That's the what they do man. for a living, yeah. bro. They're actors. No, hundred percent, dog. It's it's absolutely fucking wild. And I don't yeah. know. I don't know if you guys saw it too, but like going back on that like censoring shit. Like when Nulk fucking posted their pod with Trump and gone. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it crazy. got fucking deleted. He didn't even, Trump didn't even say anything like bad or like against yeah. the guidelines. They were just like, because what can you do? Again, it leads back to what can you yeah, actually bro. do? Oh, we don't like this podcast, so we're going to remove it from YouTube. Yeah, you bro. fuckers are still making money from YouTube. All the all the guys making content. So we know you're not going to leave our platform. So we can remove this one podcast and you're not going to fucking do it. What's the next, what's the biggest video streaming platform after YouTube? You can't even fucking name it. What bit shoot or some shit? Bit shoot, like, yeah. What? Or like, I don't even yeah. know what that is. Yeah, nah, exactly. Bitchy's crazy though. Really? Yeah. yeah maybe you much of that shit, shit bro. But that nah, shit's fucking live leak back in the day. Yeah. That shit's fucking nuts, bro. And again, you fucking someone like Nulk, who is content creators. You, yeah, you don't like the pod, whatever. But you are not fucking with like what they do for a living. You know how they put bread on the table. Mm-hmm. It's like absolutely wild to me, dog. And you know, fucking. Maybe one day, bro, fucking those looks be coming down mod cost throw, bro, because it's fucking, again, just speaking shit that they don't want. They don't want other people doing, bro. They don't want other people to hear this kind of shit and then think for themselves and be like, ah, you know, that does sound kind of, you know, that sounds like yeah. bullshit, dog. Yeah. It sounds like absolute bullshit. But, dude, even on the Will Smith shit. Well, like, any any YouTube moderator watching this one, they're going to have to sift through an hour and a half of crypto yeah. talk. They're going to yeah. be bored as fuck. <laughs> and then they're going to hear me say Jeffrey Epstein and their ears are going to perk up. They're going to be like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, break up, bro. I thought you guys were talking about crypto. Nah, but, bro, like, when, because I never thought about the Will Smith shit being fake. But one thing didn't add up to me that I said, I was like, so you are going to allow 
other dudes to plow your missus, you know, run her cheeks. <laughs> but, and that's okay. And, you know, you're cool with that shit. But if someone makes a joke about, I get it, you know, has a condition and shit, but still, someone makes a joke. About her hair. And then you go and fucking guns blazing. Yeah. You're not okay with that, yeah. but you are okay with <laughs> other dudes running the cheeks. <laughs> you know? And I was just looking at that. that and shit, I was like, dude, that shit's really, like, that's really scary, bro. Because see, think about how many people ate that shit up. Think about, bro, it. every fucking social media platform, Twitter, Instagram, everybody was fucking talking about it. My fucking parents were talking about it. It's on the news, bro. It's on fucking national television. Dude, well, you know what? You know uh, fucking how Johnny Depp right now is getting fucking yep. old. Yeah. Yahoo, for example, uh, on their TikTok account, the very first and only fucking TikTok that they posted, tell me which side you think they're on, bro, is of Johnny Depp reading the fucking text about when he was like, I'm going to fucking burn her, this and that, or whatever, you mm-hmm. know, and he's angry, and sh- that's the only thing that they fucking posted. And almost like, you know, I'm, I, at least and me, I'm fucking pro Johnny Depp. I yeah. think he's getting set up. Yeah, oh, me too. 100%. And those, yeah. But those fucks, bro, posted that shit. Again, it's like, it's not like, oh, we said, you know, Johnny's guilty, but you're, you're saying that pretty much. It's the only thing you're going to post. It's mm-hmm. the only thing that you're putting out there. It's like, it's manipulative as fuck. I um, mean, Yahoo, uh, Yahoo's just scum. Like, they're, they're, they're at the bottom of the barrel. I went on there to check my email a few days ago, and it said uh, that the front, the biggest news story on there, right in your face, was um, Trump rolls back remarks about Putin. And I'm thinking, what? Like, obviously, it was the whole article was ripping apart Trump. I'm like, this guy's not our president anymore. Yeah, not- Why the fuck? Do I want to know about Trump rolling back remarks on Putin? He's not even the fucking president anymore. Oh, but he said this. He said this bad thing in a speech that he made to people, and then he rolled back his remarks on it. And I, I just for shits, I clicked on the article, and it was like the actual content of the article and the quotes that they quoted were way different than, than the headline yeah, but and the on, way they but phrased it. Uh, fucking Biden, fucking sniffing coke out of hookers' assholes. <laughs> that should get yeah. silenced. Smoking, smoking out of the fucking crack pipe, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely fucking nuts to me, bro. I, I Wait, just, was that shit true? Wasn't he? Uh, it was his sister or something, bro. That fool's fucked in the head. That that fool. Like, wasn't he fucking his half sister or like real sister? Some, or some, some, he's doing something like that. Hella dodgy shit, bro. Yeah. Mad dodgy Hunter shit. Hunter Biden, bro. The son. And it's just like, bro. I don't cousin. even. I don't even know if you fools like. I saw a fucking video pull up of uh, Biden back in his youth. Like you can't even tell it's Biden, bro. But like when he was first in office. Mm-hmm. And him talking about uh, how there's already too many black people. Oh, and yeah. Like, and he's like, I don't want to. Like, I don't want my kids to be going to school in a jungle. Bro. That's what that's what Joe Biden said. When? Dude, this a, was 20, 30 years shit. ago. Dude, yeah, the one that I saw was even a different one. It was talking about electing. To um, be fair, though, 30 years ago, that's a different time, bro. People were mad. Like, it was just but then you a lot more people are racist. But then 30 years later, you're going to say, if you don't vote for me, you're racist. Like, if you're yeah. black but, and don't I'm, vote but, for me, you're racist. I mean, it, I feel like. 30 years ago, bro, he was probably super racist and times change and like now he's trying to get in office is like, I don't know. Exactly. I can't hold that I, against I, yeah, yeah, him. I can't yeah, hold that sure, against him because back but, then people were fucked. I mean, 30 years ago, people weren't that, bro. Still, but look it. how white he is, bro. Like, that's I know. how he grew up and he, and you know, all who the knows more reason, still, all the more yeah. reason not to trust him though, bro. Yo guys watching right now, all of you fuckers who hate Trump, go find me the most objectively racist <laughs> thing he ever said. And I'm saying you can pull up shit from 40 years ago. You will never find Trump ever said something as racist as I don't want my kids to be going to school in a jungle. That's nuts. Like, bro. And hey. people said he was the fucking racist one. And they tried to make up narratives about like, oh, he didn't hire this person because like they were they were Chinese or some shit. He's like, yeah, I don't work with Chinese people. It's like, well, whatever. Maybe that's not the best thing to say. But it's fucking different than saying I don't want my kids to go to school with black people. Hey, bro. But if you're black and you don't vote for me, you're racist. Yeah. Man. If you're not, you ain't black. Yeah, bro. Yeah. If you if you're black and you don't vote for me, you ain't black. Is that what he said? Yep, that's exact. And he said it to a black person. He said it to Charlemagne the God. Charlemagne? Yeah, he was doing an interview with Charlemagne because he's trying to be hip and cool yeah. and reach out to the youth. He's like, if you <laughs> don't what did Charlemagne say? I don't. Did he eat it up or was he like, I think, yo? I think he was. Like, a little, I think he was kind of uncomfortable. He kind of like <laughs> like awkward laugh, yeah. but you know, he's not. He's probably getting paid by these fuckers too, so he's not going to be like, yeah, "Yo, yeah. don't say that. That's out of line." Bro, so Biden just, probably paid to get on. Like, they probably yeah, just, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Bro, it's the same thing though uh, with fucking uh, like the Russia Ukraine shit and the Will Smith shit not adding up. Like, what the fuck does Russia have to gain? You know, by like by starting a fucking war 
And well, they're they're painting they're pa- painting Putin to be like this fucking crazy like war hungry guy. I don't know. If maybe he is. Maybe he isn't. But like that's what the that's what the narrative is. And it's like all of us are like eating it up and. Dude, you know, I, just, I, I feel about. like well, there's what's something crazy? going on there. Like, why the fuck would why would this, I don't know why would he go in there? You know, and fucking. I mean, Trump Trump had these sanctions against Russia. Basically, yeah. you you know what like sanctions mm-hmm, are. Mm-hmm. He had these sanctions against Russia. First thing fucking Biden does when he gets into office is remove the sanctions against Russia. And Russia's like, oh, well, I'll fucking walk all over you then. And then Biden reinstates the Trump era sanctions after Russia says- Why the fuck oh, that fool are... pull him in the first place? It's just because they've been trained. These politicians they have hate, been trained to anything Trump. Trump does, you have to be opposed to, even if it's sanctions against Russia. Damn, bro. But you look at the stats, that fool did some some solid shit. I mean, yeah. The actual numbers, bro. Like Trump. Numbers Trump. wise, yeah. Motherfuckers don't want to look at the numbers. And what sucks is, like, he... I like to like, play devil's advocate, though, because I heard a lot of people do say, like, it was already on the come up, like, from Obama's, like, last two years or something like that. Like, like it was already supposed to bounce back from where it was. So that's what, like... Yeah, I mean, you could make that knows? claim, yeah. but then there's also policy-driven change. That's true. Like, if you're going to make a stronger border and then suddenly less illegal immigrants are coming through... That's not because of Obama. That's mm-hmm. because you created. Well, I'm talking a more about border. the economy because so many people were like, "Oh, the jobs were like how Trump." I don't know because I don't know shit about politics, but people say Trump created so many jobs or X Y, or then think the economy blew up or whatever. But people will always say that was on the rise. I don't know which side is right, but that's yeah, what but I've those heard. but those people very say, same people that are trying to like say, "Well, it's Obama's." That's mm-hmm. it's because of him the jobs are on the rise. Will also be the first people. To say that, like, if Trump came in and jobs started going down, they would say it's Trump's fault. They wouldn't say it's Obama's fault, right? It's only because things happen good under Trump, they have to say, well, it's because of uh, Obama. That's but if things happen bad, they'd be like, look how bad. Because that's exactly what happened. Anytime something bad happened under Trump, and I'm not saying the right doesn't do this. The right fucking does it as well. Where if it's the politician on the other side and things start going south, it's all the politician's fault. But if things start going north... If things start going good, oh, it's the previous politician. It's because of him. He was really good, and he was on our side. But, like, look, if sh- if Biden came into office and shit started going good, I don't like him, but I would give him props. Like, if the economy was booming, Chillin'. I'd say, yeah, you know what? Like, the economy's booming. You got to hand it to him. Like, I don't like this shit, but yeah. the economy's good. Or jobs are going up. But, like, none of that shit's happening. Yeah. There's a labor shortage. Bro, at least for me, like, you know, being from South Africa and shit, like, I'm still not a citizen or anything. I can't fucking vote. So it doesn't, whatever I say, it doesn't even fucking matter. But, dude, mm-hmm. like you say, I don't really give a shit who's up there as long as they're getting the job done. Yeah. You know, and it's like the one thing that, you know, when I first came here with my family, who's fucking now back in South Africa and shit, but when I first came here, we were like, all right, we're getting out of Africa. It's so corrupt. There's, you know, the stealing is absurd. It is nasty the fucking the same fucking government parties win every single year it's so corrupt mm-hmm. we were like okay we're gonna come to the u.s where it's better i worked out real quick that this place is just <laughs> as corrupt if not even more the difference <laughs> yeah. is that these motherfuckers can hide it south africa they can't fucking yeah. hide it yeah. because they're, they're fucking less brain cells than me dog and so <laughs> it's like you know i mean for example bro like one of our ex-presidents bro Bro, put a fucking Olympic sized swimming pool in his crib when you have, you know, an absurd amount of people unemployed and shit. Yes, yeah, When, he, when he was pressed by the opposition party, you know, why the fuck you do that? He's like, oh, it's in case of a fire. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Bro can't swim though. So you're no longer burning to death, but you're going to drown to death. So it almost, here's the thing it, it almost makes it. Now that I've seen, you know, both sides, yeah, I almost prefer like the South African politics just because you at least know it's coming. Yeah, <laughs> you at least know that they're gonna fuck you up, bro. <laughs> like, you know, like we never fucking voted once there either because we know that it, our votes don't fucking count there. Yeah, so it's but you know that shit. So it's like right. versus yeah, it's like oh fucking miscountings going on and there and there and like you already know that shit's going down in South yeah. Africa, so you prepared. It's yeah, like, yeah, it yeah. is what it is type shit. So you don't expect like, to hear. Yeah, so that's the thing I worked out real quick. You know, African politics are fucked, but so is all fucking politics. Motherfuckers are greedy. It's mm. greed that drives this shit. So it's like no matter where it is, it's I guarantee there is corruption going down. And if you don't see it, it's just because they're fucking good at hiding it. 100%, bro. Same shit, bro. I mean, Wall Street is the most corrupt place on the fucking planet. Yeah. 
on the planet, dog. I mean, they don't really try hiding it here, though. Like, not that well. They don't get it. Like, because so many people, have, if they were good at hiding it, they would have fooled me by now. Yeah. They would have fooled plenty of other people. No, they just, yeah, no, I wouldn't say they're good at hiding it, but they're they're better. better, They're better better, better at hiding it, bro. So it's just like, it's absolutely absurd to me. And it's like, I don't know the answers, bro. Like, what do you do, bro? Fuck off to an island and just, you know, chill there. And, but then what, bro? Like, fuck that shit. Yeah, it's like crazy that we've gotten to the point where, I'm like putting my faith in a, a billionaire, Elon Musk. Yeah. I'm like, yo, fucking all the cards in this, I guess. Like, I'll put, let's go. I'll like, I'll go all in with my fucking poker chips on Elon Musk. Cause like, let's just hope this guy's like actually good. Cause it, who else hey, you back, bro? Listen, yeah, exactly. Like, it seems like he really cares about free speech and maybe he cares about free speech for a selfish reason. Maybe he thinks that if there's free and open discourse, he'll make more money somehow. But yeah, it works out for me too. Like I want free and open. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that you know he's just made so much. He's got everything. So like, there's no, there's nothing really for him. Like, dude, like that. You've seen that looks, Mrs. Bro. Like, what is what his chick looks like? Yeah, she ain't, is she weirdo. Yeah, bro. Like that fool. He's not like the rest of these fucks, bro. Like, no, yeah, he's you, not. you look at Bezos. Not, nah, no, no shade, nothing. I'd do the, probably do the same thing. You seen Bezos's Mrs. Yeah, his girl's bad, bro. Yeah. Way younger, all that shit, like. It's it's completely. I feel like Elon's just on a different level. He doesn't give a fuck anymore. Like he's yeah. he's got his shit. So unless, like you say, there's hidden incentives, which I'm sure I'm sure there are hidden incentives. He's a fucking billionaire, but yeah. at the end of the day, like he could probably invest that money better somewhere else. But mm-hmm. he's choosing to buy Twitter with it, and his whole goal. I watched like a TED talk on it. He's just like, you know, shit is just gonna keep getting worse. He mm-hmm. said Twitter has become the de facto uh, public public square or whatever they call it like that's where people talk now and as long as like people are getting shadow banned for no reason he wants to open source twitter yeah so anytime someone gets a tweet shadow banned or reduced reach or whatever you can see it on the back end Fuck. i mean imagine how much that would change shit open sourcing twitter that would, again dude like in terms of like the platforms like i don't even know where to go anymore you got instagram who took down um bob menory's thing or whatever when he you know they deleted his account when he fucking posted about the trump full send podcast so there's instagram they on their shit mm-hmm. twitter we already know they on their shit youtube took down fucking uh the, you know the trump podcast they fucked then you have fucking netflix who like i said is putting out all this other bullshit, bro. The, the dude getting pregnant, they fucking uh, with the kids or whatever. Remember that shit that happened? Oh like, yeah, that weird pedip- well, that um, weird fucking yeah, the weird kids dancing. Where you go, like, bro? Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. thirteen year olds twerking mm-hmm. and shit. Where, yeah, where the fuck you go? <laughs> yeah, I mean, and then they tried having Parlor, and you remember Parlor that app? Mm-hmm. And uh, it was basically I remember it was I basically really free. It was. it was basically free speech Twitter. Like they really did not remove almost anything unless it was against the law. Yeah. Which they should do. Like, yeah. you know, here's how to build a bomb. Yeah, remove that. Yeah. But in terms of, like, opinions and and stuff that was legal to say, yeah. fucking fair, fair game. Everything was fair game. And that shit started blowing up. And the media kept saying, oh, it's a right-wing platform, right-wing platform. But it's because it naturally becomes more right-wing than a place like Twitter. When you have Twitter banning all the right-wing yeah, voices, so then it. Parler is going to seem right-wing in fucking comparison because that's yep. the only place for these people to go and yep. actually talk. And um, it got so crazy. Like, there was so much institutional power that wanted Parler to go down that they were hosting their servers on Amazon. I believe it was Amazon. And Amazon actually cut their hosting. So they went under because of that. Again, bro, uh, you know, I hate to fucking bring up the crypto bullshit again, but this is where, you know, there's a bunch of apps. Like, I've I've been reached out to by many, but, like, none of them, you know, I've seen really taken off yet. You know, they're not, they're not there yet. But a big thing that's, like, in crypto is decentralized social media. Mm-hmm. Again, you know, shit that you can post, whatever the fuck you want, talk about it. The one thing that I do think should be fucking banned on all platforms and is not is fucking porn, bro. That that shit is fucking. That is, I think it's destroying motherfuckers. It is destroying fucking fools, bro. And you can you can get access to that shit so easily. So easy. You could bro. be fucking twelve years old. Mm-hmm. Fucking yeah. Twitter. Well, Instagram bans it. Twitter doesn't. Yeah, Instagram bans it. Um, oh, but dude, you could still TikTok. Though. You can't TikTok. You can't. But yeah, Reddit. Reddit's pretty big. Reddit, I don't use can. it much, but I know that like 
porn is like allowed on there. Yeah, right. Yeah, but you go, you can just go and look online. You know, porn. You and do. It's like now, yeah. you're, now you're a fucking twelve year old boy or girl, bro. It doesn't fucking because girls. A lot of people be thinking that chicks don't watch porn. They do. They got those fucking problems too. Yeah. But now you got fucking twelve year olds looking at this shit, thinking that that's how relationships are supposed to be. No, you know, I, well, I'm 100 percent agree with you on that. I mean that I don't watch porn anymore because of that. And oh, uh, yeah, like I don't shit. watch it, but. I'm also on the side of like, just because I disagree with something doesn't mean I think that no one should be able to do it, you know? I mean, or, so yeah. I think something like ID verification, yep. like it's only allowed on places like Pornhub and you have to be 18 or 21 or whatever to watch it. Okay, fair. But you yeah, know, like you said, that's actually got to be, what? so you, you know, have like to, you, your, you'd have yeah. to take a picture of your license and yeah. you'd have to hold it next to your face, yeah. just like you do for these crypto exchanges. Yeah. You'd have to hold a, a picture of your license next to your face Send it in, and then they approve your account, and then you're allowed to watch porn. I can allow, yeah, bro, because it's just like, at the end of the day, like, that shit is adding no benefits, dog. No no fucking benefits. It's causing fucking dudes to fucking lock up in their rooms all day, not doing yeah. anything, have no motivation. No and energy. if you want to be 21 years old, and you want to sit in your room all day and fucking jack off, then, like, you're old enough to make that shitty decision. Yep. But if you're 12, you're not really old enough to make that decision for yourself. Like, yep. your brain's still developing, and you're going to fuck up your development not and you're going to gonna fuck up, like, it would take years for a lot of these kids to, like, need therapy, train, their, train themselves out of, like, that, that like, way of viewing something that used to be viewed as so sacred. Yeah, bro, you know? because it becomes a habit. And it's like, you know, now, before you know it, it's too late. And it's like, yeah. it, it's embedded in these kids' brains. And I'm just like, that, that shit's fucking nuts. But I def like, for example, Twitter, dog, you can go on there. I didn't even know that, like, Twitter porn was a thing. And so it's one, some fucker that I followed or whatever was like, Twitter got the best porn ever. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? You just go in that search bar, though, <laughs> yeah. type in porn, and it's loaded on your shit. Yeah. It is loaded on your shit. And it's just like, I know, like, for, like I have a little sister, dog. She's had a phone since she was, like, 10. Yeah. And like, she has access to that shit. Yeah. Please. And all, all you have to do is Nuts. say, it says, are you 18 or older? Yeah. <laughs> it just says really? yes or on no. Twitter? No, I mean, no, not, I'm not even on Twitter, Twitter, but on a lot of these porn sites, it, it yeah. says, you must be 18 to enter. Are you 18? And you just say yes. And it's like, okay, well, dude, we believe you. That's how it is when you buy, like, bro, we bought, like, fucking um, vape on, online. And, like, you just, it's like, that's a yes. nuts, bro. Well, that's when, when Jewel first came out. Because I was, I was fucking, I was flipping those pots, bro. That was, like, I, I've been hustling day one. I'm make, find a way to make money, bro. It used to be when I was a kid, um, we'd go to a golf course and fucking go swimming in the lake. And fucking walk along the bottom and feel for the balls. And then fucking take them, clean them, sell them to the same motherfuckers that's going to hit them in there again. <laughs> and just eat, sleep, repeat. Um, so, fuck, dude, where was I at? You are talking about uh, Jewel Pods. And jewel and then jewel pods, pods and yeah, yeah, so the Jewel Pods. So then when, you know, Jewel Pods and shit first hit, I had um, an older homie with a fake and shit. And we'd go to the, the fucking, uh, they, you know, they weren't at all the smoke shops. Yeah. So we'd go there, clean them the fuck out, and then double the price. Sell them to the fools that fucking... Not a great move, but the fools of my school and shit, you know? Yeah. Someone was going to do it type shit. But then we worked out real quickly. On their fucking website, dog, you could have just, same thing. Are you 18? Yes. Boom. Immediately, just that that's it. You just say yes, yeah. done. Yeah. You can fucking order that shit straight to your front door with as many, a, a stupid amount of packs, bro. It was, uh, they had a limit. But again, you could just fucking make another account. Do the exact yeah. same shit. But then Jewel started getting fucking rolled. And like the, the dude that fucking, you know, invented it, created it to stop smoking, whatever, found his fucking son hitting that shit. Mm. Then they fucking went and did the ID verification. Mm. This Wait, that. his son, the, the owner of Jewel, yeah. his son was hitting it? Yeah. Like underage as fuck? Yeah, bro fucking caught his son doing it. And yeah. then that's when it was like, because already Damn. they were already taking heat and shit in the news because yeah. of how. But then once it's blood, it's like, that's crazy that it took your fucking son. And then, yeah, because, like, you know, they dropped or they. Got rid of all the flavors, all that shit, and it's only meant tobacco and shit. And it's not meant to be targeted at kids. But yeah. the point is, like, they fucking knew that kid that that are you eighteen bullshit is bullshit, and they knew that. Mm -hmm. The second though the sun got rolled and whatever, I right, now 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 it's a problem. Now we'll yeah. actually make it happen. So it's like I agree with you on that shit though. Kind of changed my mind a little bit because I was before I was like, nope, no porn, absolutely not. Yeah. But I agree with you just because I think one way doesn't mean the whole world thinks like that, mm -hmm. but. For sure, bro. Got to have some form of restrictions yeah. on that. No, nah, it's not okay for like. I think the first time I watched it, I must have been like eleven years old because I was curious. Fucking. But nuts. like, that's not good, bro. Nah. I should. I should just be curious at eleven. I shouldn't be able yeah. to like watch that shit. It's fucking nuts. And then bro. the curiosity, like, 
drives you to like actually go and get bro, a girl. Bro. You get a girl. Yeah. 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 And that shit is fucking nuts, bro. Yeah. All right, let's wrap this up. Yeah. How been long have we two been going? Almost two and a half Jeez, hours. Jeez, bro. So Madrid about us. for long ones. This one for a while. Yeah. Damn, bro, you can get up. Yeah, you can get up. All bro, right, we're, we're about to wrap it we're up. We're wrapping anyway. it up, guys. Um, Thank you, cousin, for coming out here. If you move out here, you guys will see more of him for sure. Move so, out here. Yeah, move that's going to happen. It, it's happening. We already yeah. fucking been looking at cribs and shit, and I'm tired of living like a degenerate in Arizona. So, hell yeah. This bitch, bro. But yeah, thank you for having me. Fuck yeah. Tom, as always. Hell yeah. Um, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys um share fucking. If, it was just more of like an educational one. We didn't really like shoot the shit that much as much as I wanted to, but. It was more of a, yeah. I, but learned, I, some, like, I learned more. Shit. I know. Yeah. I haven't. So like, I hope people because we there's use, a whole wealth of information yeah. about crypto and finances right here. Yeah. So add some form of value to some fuckers' lives. Mm-hmm. Yeah, percent. And being funny and shit's all great and everything, but it's not <laughs> even fucking. You know, you don't learn anything. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, you guys know the deal codes. He's a young LA athlete as well. So if you guys want to use his code, it's cousin, right? Yes, sir. And then cousin on Anabar or code Mog on Anabar as well. Appreciate and then, it. And then code Jam or code Sush on Gorilla Mode, Young yeah, LA, yeah. everything like that. Code Mog on Merrick Health. Jeez, we can't. Well, we should have done a fucking, we should have done a 420 pod, but. Like, bro, there's no one. <laughs> would have been yeah. Actually, no, you don't talk when you're high, which is weird. It's, you fucking, would think- it's changed the last little bit, bro, because I was smoking all day, every day, wake and bake top shit, and I was like, we got to fucking cut back on this shit. So now I have. So now, now you I get really smoke, high. I had fucking faded, yeah. dog. It was <laughs> nice. It's like when I first started. Fucking faded. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for watching. We will see you all in the next one. Peace. Peace.